Hello, hello. Five. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. We're talking about trouser sizes because we're talking about weight loss. We're not. If anything, we're skinny shaming Koiba. <laughs> what is going Koiba on? Koiba was like, I weigh nearly as much as you, and I'm like, yeah, you weigh like, like six stone less than me minimum. Imagine measuring in stone, dude. Measuring British. I just didn't know how much you weighed, Ethan, so I was just guessing. I All guess right. wrong. Hey, gamers. Like 40, like 40 kilograms. They're both a kilogram. Uh, anyway, uh, hey, gamers. Both a kilogram. <laughs> it's Sunday. <laughs> Which means Dungeon Select, this. welcome back to our weekly campaign. Hey, hope you guys had a good week. Uh, no. We are down no, shit, I ate my cake. two people <laughs> right now. Uh, Laura isn't here because she's doing family holiday things over there in Canada. And uh, OSG, our guest for this uh, leg of the adventure, isn't here today because his uh, missus is in the country and they are enjoying a nice little week together uh, in a hotel. So, um... It's going to be uh, a six for today, but uh, nevertheless, should be should be a good time. Or mock way of saying that, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, before we get going, some announcements. Uh, first of all, we are still raising money for charity. Charity Select is ongoing. We hit £400 raised last night. We're about a week in, so that's uh, not too shabby at all. Uh, we're less than £100 away from uh, the first set of incentives to being uh, activated, so to say. Which, I, off the top of my head, the first set of incentives is Laura plays Mortar Resistance and Sophia plays Outlast on Insanity Mode. Uh, and starting from then, every £100, there'll be one or two incentives uh, that'll, that'll occur. So, um, explain about charity for more information. There's no, like, alerts for the charity donations on this stream because it doesn't really work with our D&D setup. But uh, I have the Tiltify open, and during the break I'll look to see if people donate it or not, so... You know, feel free to still donate. Hell yeah. Um, I know Laura wanted me to say something, uh, I believe... Wait, I got it. Uh, Laura isn't here, who usually does our announcements, so now I'm frazzled and I'm looking for shit to talk about. But uh, last night we played uh, the campaign on Laura's channel called The Nether Deep. Uh, and the episode will be up on YouTube today, pretty much right after... Um, DS ends, so if you know you want more D&D in your life, go watch that, because it was a really good fucking banger of a session. And that campaign is a lot of fun. You see me play, you'll see Laura DM. Uh, Bowdy is, here, is is a player in that campaign who's been on the channel before. Uh, Ismera, who's also been on this channel before. So lots of familiar faces. Some new faces, so go check that out. Um, anyone else? When's your next one? Sorry? When's your next session for that one? Uh, next Saturday. Uh, we're playing two weeks back to back this time around, so that's going to be fucking pog. So yeah, next Saturday on Laura's channel, we'll be playing um, session six uh, of that campaign, starting at noon Eastern, uh, which will be a little funky. Wait, no, that's fine. It's it's the day after when we go into fucking uh, the, the time goes wonky mode and we'll be weird for a week. Um, so no, never mind. So noon Eastern, uh, 6 p.m. CET uh, next Saturday. Anyone have anything else that they want to share with the class before we get going? After the great cake debacle of last session, I'm now introducing uh, Koiba's Snack Watch. Let's go! So for this, this session, we've got, pop cake. got half a bag of popcorn. Well, yeah, but that's mixed popcorn. popcorn, you degenerate. Right, and then we've also got some jelly beans. <laughs> nice! Uh, Why do you eat jelly beans? A, a permanent segment? This is, is uh... probably because I'll yeah, always have a yeah, DD snack. Because I always Koiba. have a DD snack. I need to snack. Koiba Some of us. Snack of the week. Snack of the week. <laughs> Insert that you know fucking what? Brennan Lee Mulligan clip about like DM snacks. Yeah, and how you know it's just baby. Some of us need to snack, okay? I've food, got the food holes the same hole where the talking comes from. <laughs> comes from. <laughs> if I could have someone shovel the food in a mouth oh, in my back, yeah. I would. It's such a good snacks, fucking rant, right? dude. Yo, go on. I have I have pom bears because they're sixty five calories a bag, and I pom have ninety calorie pom. donuts, baby. My man. My man on the weight loss grind. Uh, that's, that's I have chicken. That's one boner. If you're like me and you eat the whole lot of them, you're still eating like 200 calories. Well, a big like part about one. dieting, Koiba, is self-control, which you obviously do not have, so... You know what? Matt, I ate a whole fucking cake <laughs> last week. <laughs> <laughs> that was peer pressure. Uh, I was gonna eat it anyway. I've also got some 90 calorie brownies. Oh, hell yeah. Well, the I whole have, point, okay, I the whole point is... Brownie you, cookie dough things. Nice. You don't eat all of that at once. Ethan, the whole I point of those is like, oh, you have one. It's Maybe like two. share bags. What's the point of them? 
<laughs> you need it all by myself anyway. That's because you've not, not got anyone to share with, Koba. That's all it comes down to. No, I oh, need sad. them to get the special sticker at the end to say I ate a whole bag by myself. Food challenges, but it's just Koba eating a share bag of Doritos. <laughs> No, the ones that have the sticker that you're supposed to re them uh, with. We them. should do a new segment on uh, on Dungeon Select, so like every every whatever every Tuesday or some shit, where it's just a Koiba mukbang talking about D and D while he's well eating. <laughs> oh no, my that would be so good. The day. I mean, so what be, related. What we'd have to do is just do Koiba doing exercise where he also talks about D and D the next day after. <laughs> <laughs> Sort of related. Uh -huh. I put up a charity incentive that if we hit, I can't remember what the amount is. I would do a D and D inspired cooking stream. Hell yeah! You've been you talking still about owe us that fucking bread. True, <laughs> true. You I do. had the chance to cook it. We didn't even one, make didn't. it while we were in London. What the Dick fuck? Asshole. I don't have a kitchen. Dick, I have a kitchen. <laughs> now I have, <laughs> I have a kitchen. I have a Mom? kitchen. I have a kitchen. But one oh. day. <laughs> Oh, you mean Mom? I got Central Mac in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> what are we all on today? Is that do you use Central Mac for certain types of cooking, or is it just there? Yeah, you know it really brings the flavor out a lot more when you suck it up and then shoot it back onto the plate. Nice. All right. Anyway, um, if that's if that's that for the announcements the and, and Koiba's snack of the week. I didn't imagine that with a Central Mac. I imagined it with like a T-shirt cannon. <laughs> You want some pasta linguine? <laughs> okay. Uh, then in that case, uh, last we left off, the party infiltrated uh, this 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 underground lair, a uh, cavern system that belongs to Umberly, um, by being taken prisoner uh, knowingly, so that they could devise a plan to make sure that they broke out and didn't have to break into. The lair, they was kind of taken there. Um, the breaking out involved uh, Daigon being very spiffy with her uh, astral arms, starting to break open the, the, the shackles, the manacles on people, and Kess popping out of her vessel and uh, just making sure that everybody's belongings and, uh, and shit were, were secured. And then you fought your way out. Uh, you realized, due to Celeste's ability to locate objects, that the trident seems to be in three places at once. And after going to the first location, that kind of got picked up on, on Celeste's radar, I suppose. Uh, you realize that the trident is in three pieces. Uh, the first piece of which, the, the bottom half of the, of the shaft, um, collected. Uh, two more to go. You made your way past this, this big open room with a chasm deep inside it that, that did some weird stuff. And you later on overheard that uh, apparently there's a creature that lives there that needs to be fed every once in a while. Um, and you made your way towards a room with a crypt inside and guarded by a bunch of uh, Sahuagin, uh, which you disposed of. And you're now inside this room, uh, the crypt. You read the plaque, uh, if I remember correctly, and uh, maybe, maybe you haven't read the plaque yet. Never mind. We'll just uh, we'll just say that you haven't. So you're in this room now. I don't think we have. There's this a smaller room compared to the other rooms that you've been in. Uh, still that like like couple inches high uh, layer of, of of murky, gross, stanky water that covers the ground, but ankle height. Um, maybe maybe just just under the ankle. And there's this this this, this a bunch of sa sahuagin corpses in this room, and a crypt. Um, I just want to quickly state as well that for the sake of combat, I'm assuming that Ethan is going to take over Daigon duties, and then I'll take the responsibility of uh, of going over what, what, what over Kai to, to because uh, <clears throat> I have a sheet, I have access to a sheet anyway, so I might as well. Um, cool, cool, cool. So, gamers, what do you guys want to do? I think I'm gonna read the plot. <laughs> can you read plaque? the plot? Yeah, can I read? Uh, let me have a look to see if it you can. It might be in a different language, Quavo. Okay. Uh, well, can you read? Elazar might be able to. I can. Uh, oh yeah. I'm assuming Elazar speaks Elvish. He does indeed. Yeah, it's uh, it's a plaque that says, "Here lies Evander Highcastle." Okay. Who? 
It's not the, uh, that's the, <laughs> the pirate captain. Person. That's the pirate. Oh, that's the fucking pirate dude. That's right. Correct. Yeah. He died uh, here. Umberly's chosen. Yes. Yeah. Does it look, looking at the crypt, does it look trapped? Make an investigation or, check. Or are there any, like, pistols on it? Let me find what dice do I want to fucking roll today. That one. That one. A 17. No, 16. I can't count. 16? Yeah. As far as you can tell, no traps. Uh, but you do sense... Um, you're not sure whether it's traps. You don't think it's traps, but there is some... Uh, cool. Magic kind of emanating from the crypt itself that you kind of pick up on. Nice. I um, will ask Jax. Um, I don't suppose you could... Uh, just detect magic at all, could you, Jax, with that? Yeah, I'll pop my little rod out. Odd. Sorry? And also a cast detect magic. Spell. What? Is Do you have a problem rod? with me pulling my rod out and casting a spell with I, it? Not at all, King. Popping um, your little rod out? And I hold on it? On the contrary. Uh, How many don't inches? It's very little. It's about 13 inches or so. Your, uh, 13 your, inches? Your... Is it blue? I miss Laura. <laughs> You activate your rod uh, to detect magic, and you pick up on two magical um, auras, so to say. One of which, the crypt itself, and also something inside the crypt. Uh, what school of magic are they? What school of magic are they? Oh, fuck, I forgot. Uh, that was the thing that you can detect with that. Let me quickly have a look. Yeah. See, hold on. Cock, balls, and ass. So, so if you like D&D, &D, call the Nether Deep being streamed on Laura's channel next mm -hmm. week, Saturday, 6 True. p.m. EST. Um, Don't you get that shit apparently is going to die this next session. I don't know. Oh, really? That's what I heard through the grapevine. It's crazy. I, um, I can't say I have my sources, but like, you know. The crypt say. itself is necromancy. The Make item inside the crypt is... Uh, Enchantment. Okay, that makes sense. That that one's kind of weird, but okay. No, that that makes sense. Um, it's, it's some enchantment and necromancy magic. Oh, fantastic! Well, it yeah. should be open. Well, that's the thing. I don't know what's going to happen once we do it. Open it, and if it's got magical. You know, <clears throat> sigils on it or knowing our luck we open it he comes to life we have to fight him and then we get to try it i mean we ass i assume we have to fight him regardless of what we do but yes we don't want to open this up it's actually just you know just, just not a fan of opening crypts i'm going or... to step back a little bit because this looks like a heavy is it like stone yeah yes this looks like stone. it just looks like something that i'm going to be able to open so i'm just going to step back how'd you know how'd you know unless you try Oh, I'm good, thank you. I'll, from from sort of you the, need me to you heal know, you. behind everyone else, I'll go. Do I? Even the high castle, we challenged you. No. Do a cook off. No, no response. Rise. Nothing happens. There's no response at all. Rise and face your <laughs> adversaries. Uh, I'll adversaries. push the top off. Adversaries. We need a heavy metal bard. You push the top off. Yeah. Uh, make a constitution saving throw. Nice. Oh, yeah. I don't have dice. I was right not to touch the thing. I... Well, I touched it. Yeah, oh. we know. Rod. Uh, constitution? Mm-hmm. 24. 24? Okay. You, uh, push off, push off the lid. And from this crypt, this, like, cloud of dark gray, almost black gas escapes. And you manage to kind of duck out of the way of the majority of it, but you do take a, a few breaths, and it kind of just, like, enters your system. Um, you do not suffer the full effects, but you do take... Uh, ooh, uh, 19 points of necrotic damage. Nice. Uh, but okay. after the gas kind of disperses, uh, nothing else seems to... Come at you anymore? It was just a one-time, just, just, just cloud of gas that um, wasn't necessarily a trap. More, um, I had, 
kind of hard to explain, but it wasn't necessarily something that stored people like, wrapped. It was just, just, yeah, like some stored energy, like residue. Oh. Residue, kind of that's built, built, built in there that just never had a chance to escape, and now pff, by opening the lid. Like static. Uh, but what you do reveal, uh, now that you pushed the lid off, um, it does not have a body in it. Uh, instead, there is a long object uh, in it, kind of wrapped in some some cloth. Uh, first, I'm gonna pull out a little potion of healing and down that real quick. Okay. Who's got the uh, the hilt? The trident. Celeste. I think Celeste does, yeah. Is it worth bringing up and seeing if it just... If this is the, uh... Well, I don't detect anything in here. It's it's a little further down. Uh, oh. That's where I detected it. Unless it moved since the spell faded, but I, I doubt it. Maybe we have What's to get it? all of the pieces and then bring it back here. I Maybe it's something unrelated. Like gently, the, like... The weapon. Maybe this is where it comes for a nap. Just hmm. gently move the cloth, like... I the fuck do i have that i can like not... yeah i'll just use my rip take out my rapier just kind of move the cloth with my rapier like trying to like okay uh you move the cloth and you reveal a sword a cutlass a golden hilt with a jet black blade so guys uh my detect magic would still be up does that seem to be what is uh emanating the enchantment magic correct that's this See, I see. Poor thing seems more up Kai's head. In, in your life. It's enchanted with enchantment. It's, it's enchanted, enchanted with, enchantment, with enchantment. As opposed to being enchanted with. with well, with evocation, what? necromancy, restoration. Yeah, not too many swords. Surely, there, surely if, you enchant, if you enchant anything, it's enchanted with enchantment. Well, there's actually a difference. There's, there's enchantment magic, which is basically magic that makes. It's charming, um, or... Right, exactly. Uh, but there's also necromancy, and there's... So, Jax is... Like, it sounds funny, but he is technically correct. The best type of correct, I hear. So I if you want to sit here for... Uh, to have a breakdown. If you want to sit here for 11 minutes, I could identify it now. But yeah, I don't no. know if we want to waste time. Let's just, let's just not touch it. Well, we should take it with us. I... We do not have a good record with touching things. That's what if he comes back ruin. and then he uses I'm it gonna to kill us? I'm going to fucking grab the cutlass. Okay. <laughs> Hold it aloft. <laughs> Give it a little swish. Uh, you he immediately died. feel empowered by the cutlass. Oh. Okay. Uh, it seems that um, normally you would, you know, when you find magic items, sometimes you have to attune to it. It seems mm. that this blade just naturally kind of you f naturally kind of feel good with it. You don't feel really feel the need to attune to it more. Okay, all right. Uh, okay. So it uh, it behaves like a normal plus one longsword. So if you want to just add, mark that in your inventory. For now. For now. <laughs> <laughs> one night when you're dreaming, um, it's not close. If you want to just name it, uh, just just like add a plus one longsword to your inventory, just for the sake of ease, mm -hmm. ease for the end of beyond. But also just like make a custom item. Uh, or rename that if you can, which is uh, just Evandur's uh, Cutlass or something. Something that makes you, like, identifies it to you. It's like, oh, that's where I got it. So that you don't forget. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, plus one longsword. In, uh, just, a, just a little sharper, a little, uh, little, little more deadly than your average sword. All right, now that we have that figured out, uh, which... He didn't die. Where was the piece again? I yeah. didn't die. Um, further north. Good to me. It's it's I, I believe it's it's a little further north is where the next uh, the closest by piece is. Did it have a scabbard? Ah oh, shit. It didn't have a scabbard, no, it was just kind of like wrapped in these like cloth uh, these like right. cloths and that's about it. It's that's going in the uh, uh, it's going in the efficient quiver then in that case. Okay. okay. It has this like the old javelin sort of fit. Yeah, sure. I'll put a soul uh... I put my javelin just like, and he throws the fucking sword. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, this feels weird. <laughs> is there another exit to this room? Yeah, north, right? Pretend? No. There is 
An exit uh, north, yeah. You came from the southern entrance, and there's another yeah. door that leads north. Well, I suppose there's I nothing else in here. We should move on. Well, sounds good to me. And I'll start the, entire the way. Gives yeah. me a horrible feeling. Okay. Just more reason to move on. As you uh, venture into the room further north of where you are at currently, as you enter it, the door just shuts behind you. Nice. Uh, there is always a good sign. There seems to be an access way uh, that leads out of this chamber north of you, so like ahead of you uh, in the room, but it seems to be blocked by a large rock. The cave begins to shake, and from the water that covers the floor, this large water elemental just kind of appears. This is just, just being made of, of flowing water, um, and it begins to speak. Uh, in a language that I don't think any of you, except for Kai, maybe understands. Aquin. Uh, Aquin, yeah. That's what Kai, Kai knows it. Oh yeah, yeah, and I believe Celeste does as well. I'm quickly double check. I'm gonna cast comprehend languages. Oh, because you have that thing. True. I have the thing. Peter. Uh, I would assume Celeste speaks Aquin because she's a. Right. She doesn't. Uh, oh, Triton don't oh. speak Aquan by by it's just like by default. So Interesting. They speak Triton. Uh, uh, also not listed as a language, so I don't know. Weird. She speaks oh. primordial, which I guess is kind of more. Ooh. Oh, you know, elemental language. Yeah. The generic one. The generic elemental the language. Basic yeah, exactly. One. Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty basic much. Basic bitch. It's the elemental common. Let me also quickly open up Kai's sheet just to have it late for later. Uh, now the time here. Yeah. I have so many active campaigns on the and Beyond. It's a fucking mm -hmm. ball ache. Okay, dokly. And this, uh, so Cass, you you cast uh, comprehend yes. languages. Yeah. It's just kind of like flowing around in the water. Uh, to all of you that don't speak Aquan, it just sounds like a bunch of like water noises and bubbles and, and like waves crashing. But for those that do understand, my name is Clarity. Clarity. I, I cannot forget. Master is... Master is bad. Clarity. Clarity. No, no, no more I listen to Master. Help me. Help. What is my name? Help Clarity. Help the world. Master did a bad thing for Queen. Master now King. All elements in danger. My name. What is my name? C Clarity. Yes. And just rinse, repeat. He just repeats that over and over and over this again. Is so sad. Um. What the fuck was that? It, it's, it seems to have noticed you, but it's not really paying you any mind. It's just. Constantly going in circles in this in this cavern like chamber, just just repeating the same shit over and over again. Mm. Of course. This is this is clarity, apparently. Clarity. Clarity. Yeah. Yes. Clarity. Yes. You. Your clarity. <laughs> uh, apparently, uh, clarity's master did something bad and is now king, and all the elements are in danger. Oh. Okay, that sounds sane. Clarity, now that you kind of addressed him, uh, Kes looks at you. Who are you? Who am I? Clar clarity. Clarity. Your Clarity. I'm Kes. It, like, nods, but doesn't really. It just looks at Wait. you. Wait. Am I ridiculous in assuming comprehend languages doesn't allow you to speak it? Or can you? Or is it now speaking common? Mm, yeah, you're just speaking common. I believe tongues is the one you need to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I am speaking it uncommon. Understand it. It, it understands, uh, but it, it, it retorts in... Uh, it replies in Aquin, but it understands uh, common. Okay, cool. So it's like, it's speaking Aquin to me, and then I'm speaking common back. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sick. Like two people trying to learn a language from each other. <laughs> Guess understands what it's saying. It... Yeah. Yeah. She and just can't speak. Mm-hmm. How many people think that by master it's referring to Stisha? As you say that name, he just like stops moving around. You know master? Yes. 
Don't tell him that you met me. <laughs> I don't want to listen to Master. Master bad. Master is king. World in danger. Clarity. My, my name. What is Clarity? This is really sad, by the way, guys. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what is he saying? Well, it's saying that... Clarity is saying that... Uh, their master, Istisha, has done something bad and is now king. And all the elements are in danger. So... We're assuming Istisha did something for the bitch queen. And is now... The king? Do they... Maybe got together? Uh, a marriage? Hmm. Clarity, where is High Castle? Uh, uh, Clarity, High Castle. Uh, um, he here. Not sure exactly where, but here. I'm so scared we're gonna. I'm so scared we're gonna say bad. something wrong That's and he's going to, you know. Uh, High Castle is apparently here, but Clarity doesn't know where. Exactly. Just here, somewhere. Is there anything else in this room, Dutch? A rock slid in the doorway behind us. Greg. Yeah. Now, the door behind you just kind of like shuts itself, but there's a rock blocking passageway out further towards oh, okay. where. Um, Celeste detected. Does the door we came in unlock if I try the handle? Um, yes. What else is in this room? Uh, not much. It's just like a pool of water, uh, a slightly deeper than than so than so far, and this this elemental just kind of appeared in the middle of it. Can you see kind of like anything like casing. in it? Sorry, in the pool. Can I see anything in the pool of water? Oh no. Are you trying to? see if there's anything like on the bottom of the pool or are you trying to investigate the water more thoroughly if you're trying to mm. get what i'm saying uh i guess a bit of both but more like seeing if there's anything on the bottom i'm looking more if there's anything at the bottom but if the water looks weird i'll okay in that case make an investigation check okay uh that's a 23. uh there doesn't appear to be anything in the water yeah. But with that role, I'll say that you notice the water, similar to all the water in the cave so far, is it, it it's murky. And initially, you kind of thought that it's probably just gross water. It hasn't really gone anywhere. It doesn't flow. It's, it's like old water, you know what I mean? Like that stagnant. gross, like stagnant. That's the word I was looking for. But with this this, this water elemental clearly not really all up there anymore it kind of makes you reconsider that perhaps the water is tainted instead of just being gross i didn't prepare that spell because i didn't think i'd need it that's a fucking coil of glass dude <laughs> yeah because i thought i know i'm gonna need purified food and water <laughs> mm. I really, thought I, was, really thought I was gonna need that one today, boys. In the <laughs> combat-focused dungeon run. <laughs> I don't know how much how much water can you purify with that spell, though. Wouldn't you be at it for hours? Okay. I mean, it's a like, good bit. You can it's like get thirty quite gallons a bit. of water. Yeah, you get quite a lot of water in it. Enough to see a difference. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It, it would take it would take a while, but like you can definitely get a, a, quite a bit. I think it's ritual, isn't it? Uh, it's not ritual. Clarity will uh, look at you again, uh, Kess. Why are you here? Cypher Sphere. We are here to stop the Queen doing more bad things. It, it nods, understanding, like it, it understands, and he he. King no longer redeemable. King and queen both need death. I don't 
think we're gonna do that today. But I'll make a note of it. I'll let the higher ups know. I let the I let the guy in charge no. know. I'll <laughs> this is above, that. This I'll is leave a note on his desk. That's I'll tell this is my dad. Not my job description. I'll tell my dad. I'll pass them to my manager for you <laughs> when uh when I see them. Um I'm kind of how long have you been in here, Clarity? Do you know? It replies, but you don't understand what it's saying. I just can't look at Kess. Um <laughs> Designated translator. Again. Again. Always. Constantly. Hold on. I need to make sure that I don't fuck this up. I need to make sure that I don't Ooh. fuck up the timeline. Um, no, one hour. hour. About 30 years. A little more, a little less. Has it always been bad for you here? Yes. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> you put that rock on the door? Yes. Why? Bad. Oh, I'm just, I'm yeah. just assuming. I, I'm, 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 just, I'm translating, yeah. Okay. Bad inside. Try to block it. Clarity, my name. Clarity. Would you, if, if you could, would you let us through? It, it it really thinks like long and hard you stop queen yeah make a persuasion check good thing has is a manipulator and has a high persuasion <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a charismatic person in general yeah okay cool uh 19 he turns around and just from like kind of like points at it and from one of the they're not quite arms but they kind of function as such just this high pressure beam of water just shoots out and it just crumbles the rock as soon as it just like <laughs> be careful is there anything we can do to help you stop king and queen save elements you got it. I think I just signed us up for a really big task, guys. Why? What? I Sorry about that at this immediately. Point. Well, not really. I didn't make any promises, so it doesn't really count. But, yeah, but uh... Uh... It Cloudy says... Like, yeah, yeah, that uh, the king and queen are irredeemable and need to die. And the only way to save Clarity is to stop the King and Queen and save the elements. The King being Istisha and the Queen being... The bitch. Ooh. The bitch. I pull my necklace out. I pull my necklace out and I just go, Hear that big guy? Oh, should I, should I disappear anyway. and tell Blue? We should prob maybe not right now. now. Maybe we should. What are you doing, uh, Davian? I just pulled Walkie out my talking. Um, tears of costume and went, Yeah, that big guy looks like they gotta die anyway. Um, you just, just kind of hear in, in the back of your head, uh, this, this, this deep sigh, and then just a faint. Interesting. What are up? That's how I feel about. He really did. He heard it. He did hear it. Yeah, sometimes they just kind of hang around. Are you okay, again. Well, no, I'm just, you know, just sort of coming to terms with the whole... You know... Just He's urgent at night. Being listened to... Right, yeah. <laughs> at least you and, and Jax have something in common now. We're trying to grapple with the realities of super powerful beings just kind of being omnipresent. Does so anyone else just, um... See, I knew we're, we were going into one of Umberly's lairs, but this this kind of changes things. I, I feel like we're a little... This, this is not as scary as Umberly, though. Uh, um, oh, well, uh, well, he is no. lord of 
anything no. that's water, and she is right. queen of the seas. I feel like that's a that's a power couple. Uh, yeah, it's a power mm. couple for sure. But I don't know. I feel, sure, like, it... I feel like she's a much more bona fide. You know, the honeymoon. I mean, in terms of dom <laughs> domain, she's what, what? Shut up. In terms, in terms of them will work. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? I hate you so much. In terms of domain, she's like the regional government, and he's like the he's like the federal the, government. Yeah, like oh, police. <laughs> oh, I control the seas. Oh, well, I control all fucking water. You know, so I'm not sure I agree with the assessment that she's scarier. Yeah, because oh, you she... have it the wrong way around. I don't know. She seems a lot more. Uh... <sighs> influential directly on our plane of existence whereas he's just like oh he's a bit wet you know <laughs> well no put it no put it this way put it this way the most direct contact we've had with Vistisha was a tribe of triton who guarded the things of the elemental plane of water the elemental plane of water is his domain but the material plane is where fucking unbelieves fucking shit up, right? This is this is her place. This is where she does her thing. This is where sailors die if they don't fucking sacrifice or whatever on their ships to her. He just called, sort of had some fish people and a pet, and that was it, you know. I knew her fought dragons in this plane, and all I that mean, kind of should stuff. be. To be just because fair. he's never bothered to come and fuck shit up doesn't mean he can't fuck shit yeah, up. Yeah, we've we've already <laughs> established that he's lazy and an asshole. Well, in my mind, he's only as powerful as you know blue or whatever I mean, or to be Kasuf, then they seem a bit more grounded than someone like Umberly. We are looking it's at fucking terrifying, what do you mean? Cards. Yeah, he's scary and he's powerful, but you know, they're not the Umberly seems a lot more directly involved. I'm with, I'm with Alazrin here. I mean power level aside, they're still odds in their own right. I mean they're not divine. That forces Well then what's nature. another one to deal with, you know? I mean, oh god. Um, I don't really think we're equipped to kill gods. I don't yeah. think we can. Can you kill a god fully as a mortal? I'm sure but it's possible. Think... Friends who are, and I'll dangle the, the tears of Kosuth on my chain. Yeah. So, like, I feel like Celestia hasn't gotten the lowdown of the whole Kosuth thing, so she just kind of looks at you. No, like, she hasn't. What is that? What? He a has an elemental sugar daddy. But yeah, we, well, and, you know, Kess as well, we're both. Sort of in touch with a couple of elemental lords of our own, you know? Except mine's my who grandfather. Are, we're all kind of, you know, in on the whole thing to get rid of Vestisha, so. Beans is his daddy. So let's just kind of looks. So I walked into a group of people that is involved in uh, an elemental war. Yes. No, I had no, no idea no. of this either until I met them. Would have been nice getting the heads up on that before I decided to enter a well, cave lair of one of the most feared sea beings in existence. The worrying, part, the worrying part about all of this, Celeste, is that somehow I'm the most fucking normal one. That is very worrying. These lot of all got such well, weird shit going I on. I would argue that I, see, I am. Jax is also still pretty. I also didn't try to blow myself up. Uh, Lazarus is also. I think it's just them two, really. No, no. no. A lot of his family has some community. weird degenerative, like, thing that's to do with the elementals. And and Jax, Ooh. Jax makes spiders, and that's just a different level of weird. No, I'll be totally honest. Jax's complete ignorance or rejection of divine powers is just as weird as being a little bit too involved in them, if you ask me. <laughs> are we um? Are we gonna die? Nah. Um, Almost assuredly. Also, technically, we're not in an elemental war. The war hasn't started yet. So we're preventing oh, it. Could he? And in that way, we're in more of an world. elemental ceasefire at the moment. I wouldn't say that. It's not technically no war started. It's not a it's ceasefire. Like, it's, like... it's a moment of tension. It's an elemental cold war. cold war. You could say it's more of a posturing between two sides, of which we'll but don't worry. A little mo mobilization, maybe. You know, but Davian, currently... Davian won't let you die. We are right. trying to think of it oh, diplomatically, you. but one side doesn't want to be diplomatic. It. It's a whole thing. That's why we're the diplomats. No. Because I have diplomatic immunity. You don't have From the entire <laughs> material plane. I... I only have diplomatic Nothing resistance, can touch me. so. Mm. That's, to be honest with you, you have really drawn a short straw with this lot. <laughs> me included. 
Because we I, have. I'm got inclined to think that baggage. I'm also on that side. Oh no, we we've got. I mean, do you the have baggage? The, the elementals. Side? No, I mean like drawing a short yeah. straw as in ever getting involved with this group. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm you could still of... leave, and it wouldn't like be a problem. Well, you know, no, it would be a problem. We don't. We. Celestie's okay. Oh, you mean like personally? Or you mean like she's not going to die? Uh, like none of do you mean that she knows too much and we'd have to kill her otherwise? I'll fucking kill you first, old man. Don't fucking test me. I, I would never hurt you. You're a wonderful young woman. Uh... <laughs> is is Clarity just looking on at this and just like... He's just pacing, just, not even paying any attention. Just, his... just, just mumbling his own name to himself over and over again. And, and I think we should go through the doorway. We can have this long debate. Once we're done. After we've killed a couple gods and fucked up. I don't think we're killing gods today. I, I, I don't, no, don't not. think we can kill them. Let's stop we're saying we're going to kill gods, please. God. Stealing the artifacts that they protect. Yeah, let's just oh, hope we get rid of them off. High Castle before Umberly shows up. Or Istisha. That'd be great. Istisha. Much prefer that. Yeah. Istisha's already kind of mad at us anyway, so it'd be good oh, to like not right. be. It's because you <laughs> fucked with this pet and the couple of water people. Is that what you said? We murdered it! I believe I did say tritons. We are pet so, killers. Uh, I wouldn't be so reductive of your, you know, your profound peoples. Okay. If you say so. And she'll... Kind of now knowing the, like, gravity of what fucking shit's all, is all going on behind the scenes, she's definitely a lot more... She's composed, but she's definitely a lot more, like, oh, she... Uh, uh, she, she ready to get the fuck out. Why does every hot animal person we bring on to these trips end up fucking hating us? <laughs> you mean hot animal person? Animal Wait, person? Aaron. <laughs> and, uh, we had a snake lady, now we got a fish lady. Come on! Aaron was entirely your responsibility. Yeah, that's, that's all your fault. That's yeah, all your fault. No one besides you. Only... <laughs> no. Hello! Yeah, she but hates the lessons, you. But the the mm -hmm. group, if one person in the group's hated, the whole group is hated. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I love, I love that Koiba's not like, oh, it's all the people we bring along. It's specifically all the all the animal people. Yeah. Only a furry <laughs> would make that distinction. Is it trying right to an animal people? I it's feel a like... fish person. <laughs> No, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I couldn't think the, of a different word. The Vaporeon of D&D. <laughs> anyway. The ones you want to fuck it so bad. All right, anyway. What the fuck? So do you guys venture on um, I walk through the yes. doorway. Yeah, I'm going. I go with yeah, Jack. Okay, okay, I'll go. Uh, you get to a larger, more open space uh, where the water, for the first time since you've been in this cave, uh, the, the land lies higher than the water. So you actually get to like a small, like almost like a beach, but inside a cave. Uh, a, a sand floor, no water uh, on top of it. Um, quite a spacious um, chamber uh, with another passageway that leads north out of this place. Um, you can see around you still, like, there's crystals lighting up the ceiling ab above you. Um, what's your passive perception? 19, Kai's I think. Kai's fucking high as shit. Kai's like 23. Yeah, 19. Yeah, Kai's got like a 23, but... Yeah, but I'm talking about Jack specifically, because Jack's are the first oh, one. Mine? Uh, yeah. 16. You do see these, like, large holes in the wall. That striker's interesting. Okay. How bright is this cave? Uh, like, dim, dim? Dimly lit, yeah. Um, Vazrin. Hello there. Uh, you still have that glowing ball? Yep. Uh, would you, anyway, you could shine some light on those holes, and I'll point them out to him. How far away are the holes? Uh, hold. Um, they're kind of just like spread around the walls of the chamber. Uh, there's about t uh, about ten of them in total. Um, like the closest one to you is like f like like fifteen feet away. How far like above the ground are they? Uh, about. 15 feet as well. Um, we won't be able to shine it directly into them. Um, it, but you could light up the space so we can maybe see more. Yeah, and I'll, um, I have a lamp. I'll cast. Oh, I'll throw the so lamp. Drift globe up and light it. Mm -hmm. And it'll just float five feet above the above the ground. And I'll send Mine it to the nearest door. 
as you do that, um, make a perception check. Uh, 16. 16? You just hear this, like, guttural <laughs> coming from the hole as soon as uh, the drift globe uh, shines near. And I, before you even have I, a chance to react, uh, you can see that from each of the holes, it's like okay. this, this Sahuagin comes crawling out and just drops onto the floor, weapons weapons drawn, 10 of them in total. I would like you all to roll initiative. Aww. Aww. they speak Sahuagin. It meant to be no. a joke. Natural 20! Uh, I don't know what he's trying to do with that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to sit and explain that reference to the next five minutes. Oh my god. Get it. For once, I was maybe going to go first, and then Bell existed. I got a lore roll on Dagon. That go. makes sense. Hold on. Uh, I'm actually kind of mad. Brooks rolled okay. Dagon, not so much. Oh my goodness, oh my damn. Um, What's their initiative score? Fuck all. Going ham. Oh my goodness. Did you say that there is land in this room? Yeah. So, as soon as we leave a room that Onu could fight in, we have immediately entered one that Onu cannot fight in. I guess yes. so. Oh. <sighs> I stand by my earlier statement, throw him. I'm not sure how far I can throw a medium creature. Let Brooks throw him. Oh, if I can hammer, just throw the fucking tentacles. Do a little discus. Oh yeah, is he a medium octopus? Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, he's outside. Just like this to fuck, fuck off. off. <laughs> car speeds fucking, by. Fuck off. The one, the one road near your fucking monkey on the car room. Yeah, it's because they, it. it's because they're doing like works on the crane, so there's a like a diversion on that road now. Ooh, oh, Chip looks a fucking roll as well, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Yucky. That road's shit and tight as well, and just like not well designed for traffic. Nope. Sounds like everyone. All right, sorry. I just have to make sure that I fucking. I, there's a lot of things that I need to just roll there. Uh, initiative's twenty plus. Natural twenty. Um, I rolled a natural twenty as well, but I have a minus one to my dex. Okay, so nah. we got pass. Nat twenty. Correct, idiot. Then Jax Nat twenty. Did you what roll for plus? Kai and Celesti? Huh? Did you roll for Kai yeah, and Celesti? Yeah, I did. Cool. Uh, no one else twenty plus. This ain't looking good, boys. Fifteen to twenty. 19. Uh, 17 for Brooks. Yeah, this ain't looking good. I forgot two natural 20s. Yeah, but it's it's Cass and Jax. Uh, yeah, the two most important people in the party. Okay. You. Revive yourself, asshole. 10 to 15? It will on a couple levels. 12? My man. So like, I think four levels to get level 3. <laughs> 5 to 10? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a now cast like resurrection. What is Diagon roll? Oh, now realizing she forgot to roll for Hawthorne. What did, what did, what did Diagon roll? A uh, natural one for a total of six. Oh boy. Oof, that. Is that everyone? I feel like it's everyone, right? Hawthorne. Hawthorne, Hawthorne. got um. Roll chip eight. as well. I roll for chip. I went. It's oh. part of Kai's. Uh... Oh boy. All right. It's gonna be a fun one. <laughs> Uh. First up, we got uh, Cass. Yay! Uh, is it now bright light because of the fucking globe? Uh, it's whatever bright, in, it's in whatever its space it is, uh, it's normal yeah, it's light. Like light. I don't know how how Damn big it. is the area of that? Like normal lights? Ah, uh, CCP, isn't it? Drift globe. Let me just double check real quick. Is it, I believe it's is it thirty feet of normal feet. light and thirty feet of uh, shit light. Shit light. Shit light. Oh no, just cast the, light. it just cast the light spell. Hang on. Okay. Uh, so tear, ba, 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 ba. twenty foot radius of dim light. Oh, twenty foot radius of light and the twenty foot of dim. 
Yeah, so where the where the drift globe is, you went to the closest hole. So like in the bottom left corner of the room of the chamber you're in, there's like a twenty foot radius of normal light. The rest is all just dimly lit. It also but everyone. Let's choose which color it is, but I won't because I would make it red just to make it a sexy, sexy room. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Than... Are you trying to so, seduce guess. someone to seduce again? What do you want to do? Yeah. Where's, it, where's the enemy in regards to light? Is that in the dim light? I mean, they're everywhere. Every hole, there were 10 holes total. Like, she's kind of like circling the room. And from each hole, one Sahu again came crawling out. So Excellent. I'm going to cast Shadow Blade okay. as a bonus action. Oh, shit. I pressed the wrong button. And then I'm going to attack uh, one of the ones in the dim light because I get advantage. Yeah, uh, the closest one to you uh, is, is the one is one to your right, which is like fifteen feet away. So there's, yeah, easy peasy. Sick. That is cocked. Cock. Hey, nineteen uh, plus. Yeah, that hits. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Seven, sixteen, uh, psychic, sixteen psychic and three thunder. Uh, okay. So you walk up to uh, the nearest Sahu again. You see, and start just carving it with your with your shadow blade. Anything else you want to do? Uh, no. Okay. Jax. Yeah, spells are tough. And that's why I'm not gonna use one. Uh, I'm gonna run the nearest one. Mm -hmm. One right a, by like Elijah, right? You can choose. There's uh, the one that Kess is fighting, and then there's one opposite of him to your to your left, which is the same distance away from you as the other one is. What you kind of need um, to imagine is there's it. The, the room is kind of like an oval shape. Uh, one, and you're like semi-circled around us, basically. Um, about thirty foot across. Uh, at like its widest point, because it's like an actually, you know, it's like an oval, like but like sideways, and just like just just spread around the edge of this chamber. Every ten, every like ten feet or so, there's one. Uh, gotcha. So again. Um, I'm gonna go after the one on the left then. Okay. And I'm gonna just punch it twice to my thunder gauntlets. Go for it. So one is a plus nine to hit, so twenty-six to hit. Yes. And the other is a sixteen to hit. Both hit. Yeah. Takes. On the dice. Um. Uh, twenty points of thunder damage. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. And then I'm gonna use my bonus action to activate my. Uh, what the fuck is it called? Uh, defensive field. Give myself five temporary hit points. Hell yeah. Okay. Is that a turn? That is my turn. Last low. I guess that's me. Mm -hmm. I will uh, cast Sacred Flame at the one that uh, Kess hit. Okay. So it needs to make a deck save. Uh, that would be a uh, seven. Fails. Mm -hmm. And it takes 14 points of damage. Oh my god. Yeah, so Kess, you see the one that you were fighting in front of you just lights up in this like white golden flame and it just <laughs> combusts. Leaving nothing left. I mean, that'd be my turn. Leaving nothing behind, I should say. All right, uh, Brooks. Well, shit. Well, well. I somehow get the impression that we are not going to get a long rest before we uh, before we do our next like fight so want to risk sleeping in uh, yeah. this lair uh, be my guest yeah no no i don't have very much good shit 
fuck, fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm going to. You said it's like a like an oval shape. Yeah. Like sideways, like a, like a like a like a sideways egg. Like a sideways egg. <laughs> um. I would like to move. Is there a, is either end of like this row of ten holes closest to me? Sorry. When we came into the so there's there's ten holes. Mm -hmm. The room's egg shape. Yeah. So basically, it just goes like all around the wall. Every ten feet or so, there is a hole. So I want to move to either the first or the last dude. Uh, the first one uh, is where Jax is at, and the last dude just got barbecued by uh, Elazrin. I'll move to the second to last one. Okay. Because he's now the last one because barbecue. Correct. So I'm gonna go fuck that guy's day up, I guess. Go for it. Uh, I'm gonna. What grapple him or do I just punch his face in? I just. I'll grapple him and then we'll see if he survives. Uh, so I'm gonna make an athletics check to grapple him. Don't have advantage because I'm not raging. Still 21. Natural 20. Natural 20? Yeah. My fucking dude's a bitch. Alright. Okay. Uh. Flurry blows. Fuck this so guy. So you you attempt to grapple this Sahu again, and it just it just manages to kind of with its with its strident like spear, just kind of like manages to push your arm away. Stop being a <clears throat> cunt, and I'm just gonna start punching his face in. Go on. Well, elbowing his face in technically. Uh, that's a twenty. Yes. Four. Yes. And then a uh, an eighteen. Yes. Okay, and uh, so he takes. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Uh, 18 points of bludgeoning damage. 18 points of bludgeoning damage? Okay. Yeah, he's not looking so good. You fucking you just just elbow his face, and then whatever follow up you do with your other with your other hand, just fucking. Dunk him on the side of the head, and he's looking a bit dazed. You can see that it's like it's like nose is just completely like bent out of shape, and it's, just, it's not looking too good. blows, so I can disengage. So I'm gonna leave this guy with his fucking face caved in. Mm -hmm. and move over to. I'll move over to where Jax is. No, that you have nowhere near the movement for that. How big is this room? Hold. Because you I went, you took, you took, you went right. We went to the second to last guy, so that that was already like a twenty foot journey. Okay. Jax is on the left side, so you have to go the twenty foot back plus an extra ten feet. So that would be fifty feet of movement. Total. I get, yeah, I get an extra ten foot when I flurry blows oh. because drunken master. So I have fifty foot of movement. Then you can exactly make that. All right. Fuck yeah. Drunken master, baby. And because I flurry blows, he can't use the reaction. Get fucked. Okie dokie. Is that your turn? Yes, that is my turn, and now right. I cry. It's Kai's turn. Kai is going to use his. He's going to use. He's going to walk into the room. But kind of stay put, and he's going to use his action to cast Chill Touch on one of the... Um, basically, on the guy that Brooks just caved his face in of. He's going to cast Chill Touch, and this like skeletal hand just appears behind this, this Sahu again, and tries to touch him. Uh, with a, That's 25 to hit, so I'm just going to say yes. For 14 points... Nope, I tell a lie. No, I don't tell a lie. 14 points of necrotic damage, and that's enough. So the skeletal hand grabs the Sahuagin and just pumps it full of necrotic energy, and he just 
<laughs> evaporates. Nice. Uh, let's have any bonus actions. Nope. Um, that is Kai's turn. Davian. Oh my god. I'm just going to run over to the closest one and hit him with my sword. With the, uh -oh. the new sword you got? Yeah. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, the closest one that would be the one that Jax and Brooks are currently around, but you can make your way to the next one up uh, if you want one that isn't yet. Fuck it, if it's within 30 feet, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, bet. All right, roll an attack with your uh, plus one long sword. Oh, 21. That hits. Ooh, 1d8 plus 3. Oh, do I? Ooh. Mm. No. Oh, 1 damage plus 3. So that's 4 damage. Nice. Nice. So oh. you still you you have this 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 cutlass, this jet black blade, the golden hilt and you just It's Wait, it feels, no, wait. You got an extra I plus roll 1. The D, no, I should roll the d10. I roll the d8. Are you two-handing it? Yeah, yeah of course. Okay. <clears throat> You're handing a cutlass. It's... Right, it functions as a long sword, so he can. Nine him. plus one. A ten. I mean, plus three. So twelve. All right. So this sword, even though you've you've you don't use a long sword that often, but this sword yeah, especially just feels feels good. It feels good in your hands. It, 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 it it's 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 weighted nice, and it, it feels as if you've been using this sword for years. Uh, that's how 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 confident you are with it, as you just just jam the cutlass into this 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 Sahuagin's stomach and pull it out again. You can see just a gross intestine bits kind of falling out as with one arm it's holding its stomach together. Uh, anything else? Uh, yeah. Can I, with my bonus action, have Onu climb down off me and also attack? Yeah, sure. He's got five feet of movement, so yeah. Uh Beast of the Sea. Beast. Like I mentioned Onu, just oh. you just drop Onu. Just... <laughs> uh wait, what Lad. Is 15 plus seven. So twenty-two to hit. Yes. Um da, 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 da. 1d6 plus two plus PB. Ba, 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 ba. And the target is grappled. Okay. Yeah. It's not even a roll off. You're just straight up grappled. Uh, okay. 26. Which is uh, 5 plus 2 plus 3. So 10 points of bludgeoning damage. All right, and so Onu has grabbed him. This, this octopus just comes climbing off of your arm and just wraps himself around the Sahu again, kind of like crushing him in the, in the, in the process. But it is now just completely like t just tied up in, in, in Onu's tentacles. And it is, it's, it's looking like it's having a really bad fucking day at the office. Excellent. And that will be my turn. All right. Celeste. I mean, she's just gonna... Oh, is she? She might be. Is she? She's gonna do it. Yeah, she is. You know what, dude? She is. Hell yeah. She's going to... Use... A first level, uh, no, she's not. I tell a lie. Yeah, she's just going to take her bow. She wants, ah, she would probably save some shit because she's already kind of, yeah, she's going to just use her bow and fire an arrow at not the one that Davian is at, but the one that's like beyond that one. With a uh, 19 to hit, so that does indeed hit. Something fucked up with my Celeste character sheet, and all of her shit's just gone, which is very fucking annoying. For 10 points of piercing damage, and that is her turn. We now have two Sahu again get a turn. The first one being the one that just got shot at by Celesti. And he's going to just 
chuck his spear at her as a, as a response to that. Oof. For a 30-20 to hit. Four points of damage for Shalesti. Boom. The other one is going to move down to Davian and uh, assist his boy, who seems to be in a bit of a pickle. And is going oh, to make two attacks at you. Uh, first one is going to try and bite you. The second one, he's going to try and jab you with his spear. So okay. for the bite, that's cacked. Is a 14 to hit Davian? Doesn't hit. So he misses the bite, and then he just goes to try and jab you with a spear for a 16 to hit? Doesn't hit. Damn, all right. Ooh. So you just... Dexter's boy that you are managed to just whoosh, whoosh, duck out of the way of both attacks. Um, Chip gets a turn. And Chip is going to fly over to who looks like they need it the most. I mean, nobody really, so it's going to roll. I'm going to fly over to Davian, land on your shoulder and give you the help action. Okay, three more Sahu again, get a turn now. One is going to throw his spear at Kes. Nice. What the get fuck? That's so rude. Get mm. Natural 20. Idiot. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, actually, I'm... I'm, I'm... Silvery Barbs. Silvery Barbs. Silvery barbs. I'm going to Silvery Barbs it. Yay. I don't know what Barbs is. Or Just why roll again. It's uh, an 18 to hit now. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Does an 18 uh, still 18? Hit? Yes? Yes. Yeah, but it's not Thank crit you. damage. It's not, not crit. That's true. It's wow, and a one on the damage die, guys. Gosh dang. Uh, so that's two points of piercing damage from this big fuck off spear that just kind of like flies past you, but just kind of like grazes you, like 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 past your arm as a... As a... You're welcome, and I'm going to give advantage to me. How much damage should I take? And I'm going to give advantage points. to me. Two. Mm -hmm. Yay. Um... Next up is the guy that is currently tied up by a fucking octopus. Uh, he's grappled, right? So he still gets to just act as yeah, normal. Yeah, he can do whatever he wants. All right, he's going to... I mean, he's going to try and just cut Onu off him. So he's going to use his first bite Onu and then... That's fucked up. Claw Yo, we're eating well. octopus for dinner, boys. <laughs> Alamari! Uh, 18 to hit Onu. With yeah, the bite. Uh, that is five points of piercing damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then for the claw, is a 16 to hit? Uh... No? Wait? Yes, that hits. For four points of piercing damage. Okay, okay, okay. That's his turn. Uh, the final one is the one, like, deepest into the room, closest to the way out. And he... As an action, takes out this like conch shell that he has hanging from his uh, from his waist, and just that's probably bad news. Blows in it. Uh -oh. Hell yeah, dude! And that's its turn. No, no. Uh, no Hawthorne. Yay! He's gonna shoot uh, the one that just fucking blew the horn thing. What range does Hawthorne have on his uh, shoot? He'll move if he needs to. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have a range of 160 feet. Oh, pfft. oh, is that the second or is that the first? Yeah, that's oh. the second one. The What's first the first one? one is 40 feet. 40 feet. If he moves up like like 10 feet, he'll be able to do it without disadvantage. Yeah. Sick. I'll do that. Has Tidochi on the left hand side. Beep up. 19. That hits. One damage! Roll a constitution check! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Just sleep, come on, sleep. baby. Oh, it's a saving sleep. throw. Is it a nat one? Is he, does he fall unconscious? He's, he's, he's sleep. Sleep. It's not a nat one, but it's a natural That's two it. for a total of four. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, no! Nappy time! So he's asleep? He falls unconscious! Yes! Okay. Yeah, so he just drops to the floor and just... <laughs> 
He managed to toot the flute before he did, though. What? He did toot the flute, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Go to my flute. All right. Uh, Hawthorne <laughs> looks very satisfied with himself. You guys see that? Yeah. Um, he shot someone that wasn't me. Oh, fuck. Sa that was one I mean. Literally one again. Let it go. That uh, Jax punched. Ooh. Gets a turn and he's going to try and bite and claw at Jax. See, oh, bite, hit me. bite being Until 11 to hit. Done. Nope, not even the close. Claw is a 21 to hit. Alright, that is. 21. 21. For, uh, for four points Whoa, of piercing nice. damage. Four points? Mm hmm. Dang, didn't even get rid of my 10 HP. Dang, dude. Dang, Dang dude. dude. <laughs> Got Still me. having temp HP. Uh, one more Sahu again is going I to, to run all the way to to Cass because she's closest and is going to just fucking Lol. spear slash bite. This is what did I just Lolling do? You guys, I didn't rage. What did I just do? Out. How did I do that? Did you throw it and like land it on a side or something? Uh, it's, it's fucking. It was cocked, but like barely. You know what I mean? Like if, normally when it's cocked, it's very clear. But this was just like a, like a slight, like, slightly like elevated because it was like a piece of like a piece of like plush, also. just like like dust in the rolling tray. Damn. Nice. I'm impressed. Uh, Seventeen to hit, Gus. Damn it, that's my AC. And a uh, little twelve to hit, so that misses. So the spear oh. hits. No, uh, and you nice. take nine points of piercing damage from it. What the fuck? And uh, now we get Daigon. Daigon finally gets a go. Mm -hmm. I mean, Daigon's going to go for the one that just started having a go at Cass. Okay. Because fuck that guy. Friends. <laughs> yeah, and fuck that guy. Even though Cass is a terrible friend, they're still friends. Okay. <laughs> Good point. Not my word. Which we, which we discussed on last uh, yeah. discourse, guys. If you want to watch that, it'll be on the YouTube at some point in the near future. Not yep, my I'm words. working my way me. through it. Oh yeah. Um, so she says. She's gonna use the collapsible spear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that first attack's a twelve because I rolled a three. Just hits. Fuck yeah, baby. Experience has showed you all that these guys, there's a lot of them, but they're not particularly the most threatening Burly. and burly. I didn't I didn't specify that she was long. I wanted to two-hand it, but I didn't specify, so... I, I'll take your word for it. Okay. I mean, she doesn't have anything to do with her spare hand, so... Uh, that is 13 points of piercing damage. Ooh, okay. Fucking do. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> uh... Yes. Jesus Christ. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I'm just still figuring out, Dagan. Uh, she. How many key points does she have? Hey. I used one. I have to have a separate fucking you. document to keep track of key points. Yeah, she. No, she's not gonna flurry blows. She's just gonna fucking kick him in the nuts. Sick. If he has any. That's Fish, nuts. Fish nuts. <laughs> Fish nuts. Fish nuts. Balls. Um, Balls. That is a dirty 20. Yeah. For another 11 points. <laughs> so Daigon just jams her spear in this guy's chest and then just with just almost like with this big like cartoon wind up with her with her leg just poof, kicks him in the nuts and you just hear something pop. As he just, both hands go down to his crotch and just <laughs> falls to the, the same floor, move falls she, to the floor, the dead. Move, move she do do fishmen have external... These guys testing? do. Okay. For the sake of flavor, now that they one, do. That one specifically, just that, that one. specifically oh. did have nuts. They were so hot. They weren't external just so hard it went kick. through their little... Yeah. Oh, I was just going to say, you should have just said, not anymore. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I should have made another attack because she has oh. two attacks, doesn't she? Because she's pure monk. Uh huh. Uh, There's another one, like in her melee, the other one that, like, Kess already completely fucked up. Yeah, she's. You know what? I'm doing it out of order and I don't care. She stabbed one, kicked him in the nuts, mm -hmm. and now she's gonna pull the spear out and just whip it round and hit this dude in the back of the head. Hell yeah. 
And I described it, so in true Laura style, this will miss. True! <laughs> Never mind, that's a 25. Yeah, it hits. Uh, it's 10 points of piercing damage. Yeah, you fucking finished this one off as well. This one was already looking really rough because of the Shadow Blade shenanigans that Kes pulled, and now... You just, you just hear a very satisfying crunch when the spear hits the back of the head, and it, you just cave the back of his head in, and he collapses. I can mop it up. No. Is that Dagon's turn? Uh, yes, because I don't want to spend key points. Um, the final Sahuagin that hasn't had a turn yet is going to chuck his spear at Daigon. He's a pussy. Uh, 15 to hit? Uh, it doesn't hit. Okay, so it misses, and that's his turn. <laughs> and we now he doesn't have a spear, idiot. Mm -hmm. We go back to... Kess. No, Kess is not to kill. So there's uh, currently you've you've gotten rid of four of them, and there's there's there, so that means that there's six left kind of spread around okay. the place. Um, one of which is asleep, slightly unconscious because of it being hit in the yeah. butt by a thorn. Which is is there one like how close is the one closest to me left? Um, the closest one to you would be 10, 15 feet ahead of you. That's the one that just chucked his spear at Daigon. Okay, I'm gonna attack that dude. Fuck okay. that dude. <clears throat> uh, that is 28. Yeah. 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 I'll say that hits. Loaded. Yeah. Yay, that's generous. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Um, okay. Okay. 19. 23. 23? 23. Psychic damage. Fucking Jesus Christ, man. Three thunder. <laughs> Is he still up? No. No? Oh, no. Sick. What the fuck? Where did that come from? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you just fucking walk Shadow blade up, is broken. Shank him with your shadow blade. And you can see the life force just, just get sucked out by the shadow blade. And How far just, is the next one? Uh, oh another God. another 15 feet? 10 feet. 10 Guess feet. wants blood, dude. I'm gonna go attack that guy with my second weapon. Okay. Two weapon fighting. Mm -hmm. Roll your attack. 26. Yes. No, 27. Yes. That's lethal with a dagger. Holy shit. Yeah, fucking hell. Uh, 7 damage. Seven points of damage? Alrighty. Yes. Okay. Fucking Jesus. Are you done? Mm, yeah. Jax, you're up. Alright. The one I was fighting is dead, correct? Uh, Yes. Okay. I will move on to the next closest one then. Yeah, there's two uh, like 10 feet ahead of you. The, the Those are in combat with Davian. One of which completely constricted by, by an octopus. But there's another one there that isn't... Uh, has not been harmed yet. I'll fight that one. Okay. First attacks with advantage, which is a good thing, I think. Uh, it's a dirty 20 to hit. That hits. And the second one is a 24 to hit. Yes. All right. Um, ooh, makes that's going to hurt. Um... Okay. 26 points of thunder damage fucking jesus okay yeah he's dead Whee! Jax comes <laughs> walking up and Davian you look as Jax just gets beside you with his with his gauntlet just like kind of just winds up and just fucking wide swing and this you can you can see this guy's head on his neck just go Fucking collapses haymaker. to the floor. Just, yeah, fucking haymaker. Wait, dead. was this the one the Onu had or the other one? The other one. The one that came up. The other and, one. Oh, uh, okay. Alright. Tried to fuck with you. Anything else, Jax, or was that your turn? Um. Yeah, I'll burn my last defensive field to my uh, temp HP back to five. Okay. That'll be my turn. Laszlo? Elazarin? That me... How far away is the nearest one? 
that's not been fucking just massacred by... <laughs> Uh, there is not a single one left that has not been damaged in, in some way, shape, or form. Okay. Uh, the Which... healthiest one would be the one knocked on, his, on the floor, falling fall asleep. Next to that, what's the next healthiest one? Uh, that would be this one, which is... The, uh, that's the one that uh, Celeste shot an, shot an arrow at. Yeah. Oh, I will Sacred Flame it. It's a shoot within 60 feet, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sacred Flame. Seven. Seven, it seven, fails. seven. Eight. Points of damage. Eight points of damage? Yeah. Okie dokie. Um, and Anything I'll else? move... I will... Move up to be next is... Can I get, can I get next to Kess or is she slightly too far away? 30 feet you'll be able to get like 10 feet behind her can i get next to some just standing next to someone you can stand next to daigon that would that would she's use your probably gonna, she's probably gonna move oh <laughs> can i get next to and you can also get next to celestia hasn't really celestia guy haven't really moved yet they're like 10 feet into the room yeah fuck them people <laughs> okay you can get next to brooks uh i'll get next to brooks then okay Mistake. Yeah, I baby. Move as well, but... Oh, I have a... But there's I no have... enemies left. I have, a... I have a thing I can do, okay? Oh, sure. God. Okay. Is that your turn? Thing I can do. Yeah, that's my turn. Brooks. I mean, there's not many left, right? Um, One, two, three. There's four left. None of them are within my melee. Uh, that is correct. Hey there, Brooks. <laughs> Has Elasrin made it clear why he's moved up to me at all, oh, or no. has he just moved and stood next to me? Just moved and stood next to you. It's sort of in like a, like a battle position, but for him, that's just kind of standing there. That's just good. <laughs> just like, uh, I have a shield. Like... I mean, shit. How far is the nearest one? Uh, there's one still being choked out by an octopus about 10 foot ahead of you. About 10 foot ahead of me, okay. I'll go help Onu. Okay. Mm. I'm just double checking uh, the definition on flurry blows. I think it's when you make a melee attack, right? That's when you No, can do so it. if I make a melee attack, uh -huh. I get to make oh, an arm strike. Action, just an arm strike, right. Flurry of blows uh, is just make an attack action. Right, okay, okay, okay. So... Which is why you can, flurry, take of blow, a... you can flurry of blows after a grapple, but not... Yeah, enough, but yeah. I can't. Normal point. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna... I'm gonna pull out one of my many daggers... Oh. And fucking yeet it at anyone other than this dude that's being grappled by Onu. Are you moving up to the guy grappled by Onu? So I'm gonna first? move up to him. That on my way, I'm gonna advantage on the on the throw. Okay, I will move five feet. I will throw a dagger, and okay. then I will because move because any range five attack feet. is a disadvantage if there's someone in your melee, an enemy in your melee. Okay, even if it's not your target, you know. Um, okay. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, you just, just while walking, chuck a dagger at... Uh, which one? Uh, there's one... Um... Are any of them hurt? Sorry? Are All any of them hurt? All of them. <laughs> Are any of them looking like they're on their last legs and I can snipe the kill? Yeah. Oh my god, you're the fucking... The one, which that, one? Kess, the one that Kess just uh, moved up to. No! Dude! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna Fuck launch you. a dagger at the side of that dude's head. You okay. little bitch. Fucking... Uh, it's a seven, so uh, fourteen. It's because uh, my dex is one less than my strength. Um, Damn you! So that is what seven points of piercing damage. Is it's that like just that. enough? That is just enough. <laughs> While walking, you just kind of like chuck this dagger, and it just goes. <laughs> In, into you the side hold. of this guy's head, and he's just, and you can see Kess just look over his shoulder and just like glaring at you. <laughs> Kess is—I don't think Kess has ever seen Brooks throw a dagger before. 
don't Jesus. think anyone has. And then, where is the one who grappled on this dude? Because I don't want to hit just the like, like, I would imagine him. I guess wrapped like, around his legs. Because the Ogre oh, is, is a reducing movement, right? Yeah, so. so his legs are like wrapped together. Yeah, okay, cool. He's wrapped around his legs. I'm gonna backhand a bitch. I'm gonna. I have to flurry blows if I want to hit him. So I'll spend it's not Kes. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna backhand the bitch. Mm -hmm. I don't have advantage because he's not prone, even though he is grappled. Correct. Uh, that misses. Yep. That's a natural two, so ten. Yeah, that misses. Oh no, sorry, eleven. Still misses. Just misses. Okay. But it misses. Well, now I'm annoyed, so now I'm just gonna headbutt him. You're annoyed. It's a uh, 19. 19 hits. Eight okay. points of bludgeoning. Yeah, you, you headbutt him and, and he just, just front of its front of a skull caves in and just falls down, but Owen was still like wrapped around his legs, so he just doesn't even get to fall down properly. He just kind of like from the knees up, just going. Whoop! But Owen was still kind I mean, of. Did Debian stay in melee with this dude? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. It's a melee with two of them. Because one fucker cool. ran over and started taking swings at me while I was busy. Very rude. Okay. <laughs> uh, is that your turn, Brooks? Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Uh, I, I, uh, Don't say that's your turn. That make thinking noises. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, that's my turn. I'm not going to move back to Eli's room because Brooks has no reason to and it would be a meta decision. I'm going to stay where I am. It's now Kai's turn. So there's two Sahu again left, one of which is asleep at like the top end of the room. Um, so Kai is going to use his movement to get to the one remaining dude still up and is going to run his finger along his blade and cast Green Flame Blade, as we've seen him do many times. And is going to hit him. Mm -hmm. uh, so 16 to hit, so that does indeed hit. Battle of Green only hits, target service weapons attack normal effects. But also, wait, is it just normal weapon damage and also the fire damage? Is that how that works? I think so, right? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, it does, it does like a D8 to the guy you hit and then jumps and also does damage. It does the weapons attack normal effect, so you yeah. do it as normal. So the yeah. guy takes nine points of slashing damage from the sword, and then an additional five points of fire damage, which is a total of 14. Which is enough to X him out as well. So now all that remains is the guy that got knocked unconscious because of... Uh, is that guy porn. in range of the green flame? Uh, no, because you need to be within five feet of it. No, not in range. So Kai is going to leave it there. Davian, you're up. So the only target in this room left is the guy uh, that is on his ass. Is he within 30 feet? Yeah. So I can just run over, fucking hit him with advantage, also crit that boy. Yeah, absolutely. With my new fancy sword. Let's go. Dude. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Their AC is really low, right? That's a uh, 15 to hit. That hits. Auto crit. Mm -hmm. So 10 plus <laughs> 22 points of, uh, I guess, flashing damage. How would you like to finish him off? Give it some. Uh... Just, just, you know, just right there. Right. Right through his fish heart. Hell yeah. And with that, uh, you finish off the last remaining. Sahu again in this chamber. Uh, as you look around, you can see that there's a, a tunnel network that leads north. Um, no water on the floor, as I mentioned before. Um, but still, there's just overwhelming stench of... just rot and decay. Is there anything so, interesting so. in this little, like, beach area? Uh, do you want to take some time to look around? Yeah. Uh, make a, make, a, make an investigation check. 
and just have a look around. Pick up my dagger. Just make some sand castles, guys. I'll, I'll oh my wipe god! My fence Stay in the tray. Off on the guy who's nice. <laughs> I just ran through. Okay. Put it back in my quiver. Thirty twenty. Um, this seems to you that this was kind of somewhere. Those holes in the walls hmm? seem to either be uh, smaller tunnels that connect rooms for easier access for the Sahu again to kind of like be be wherever they fuck they need to be, or potentially a place where they where they that leads to where they sleep or where they oh, rest gosh. or whatever. Yeah. Um, other than that, this it's a large chamber, but that doesn't seem anything particularly interesting about it. Are you guys cool if we rest for a little bit? I could definitely do with a short rest. However, maybe not here, given that, you know, that dude's a still... He blew the horn and also no one's gone and finished him, right? So. Yeah, he's dead, yeah. Oh, did you do? I went looking for my dagger. Uh, killed the guy I was killing like a little bitch. Can't gosh. Take a little <laughs> yes, not a competition. Listening closely, mm -hmm. um, is there any? Do, can we hear anyone approaching? Is there anyone that we can hear that the horn might have signaled? Make a perception check. Also, I want to ask Hawthorn to go down the tunnels to see what's at the end. Okay. Oh. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. Uh, you're trying to listen for any sounds that weren't there before the guy blew the horn. And you hear rumbling coming from um, where you came from. Does it appear to be getting louder? No. It doesn't seem to be getting closer. But... Um, when you say from where we came from, mm -hmm. like the room with the big chasm in it, by any chance? Potentially. <laughs> oh no! Yes. <laughs> Very good. It does come from that <laughs> direction, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we should rest up just yet. There's some kind of sinister rumbling coming from the way we came, and if whatever's in the bottom of that pit happens to be bubbling out of it as we speak. We probably don't want to be caught I will... sitting having a Do we think it can leave the pit? Do we think we, we want to take that chance? It can't. <laughs> right. Maybe we should find somewhere safe. Like, I also would really like a rest, but maybe we should find somewhere safer to do it. Yes. Is anybody looking super hurt? Only emotionally. Oh, uh, mm, you know. I'm not bloody, but I'm getting that. Okay. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cast a level day. one cure wounds on a uh, on Cass. Yay! Uh, <laughs> you get thirteen points back. After Thank the you. Only heals, Brooks and I can look fine. They didn't get hit that that combat. I know. Uh, Cass did get hit. Does Hawthorn see what's at the end of the tunnel? Um, what's Hawthorn's AC? Oh no! <laughs> He's got a wife and children. Dutch, don't do this. <laughs> Fifteen. What's his? What's his HP? It, it's two. Hawthorn never returns. Oh no! He's dead. <laughs> uh, should we go on? Yeah. I think we should probably leave this place. All right, I guess we keep moving. I don't have the spell up anymore, but I'm pretty sure we're getting close to where I I, I felt the presence of the second object. Um, if you want, I can cast the spell again, but do we think it might be better to save resources for what's to come? Save uh, resources. It would be better if you just save it. We'll we'll figure it out. Okay. And I guess the intention to recast is if we get horribly lost trying to find the other one near the rough direction, right? I will lead us on. Okay. Um, you lead the group into the next room beyond the one that you're in right now. And it's a small circular room, and in the middle of it, there's an altar dedicated to 
a feminine looking uh, being uh, wielding a large trident in one hand and in the other hand holding an entire ship. Um, you can see from here that there's a passageway out of this room towards the north and towards the east. Nothing else on this altar? Uh, make an investigation check if you want to have a little closer look. Uh, what does to use? What does to use? That's what I'm... Investigation. Investigation. Uh, 30, 20. Uh, you look at it, and at first glance, you don't see anything. But as you kind of get take a closer look, uh, you do see that there are some small, like like shiny shells and and that sort of thing, kind of like put on there, like attached to it. Uh, to kind of decorate it some more and make it a little, 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 little prettier, which you can interpret either as some kind of, of offering or just a purely decoration, you don't know, but... Okay, I'll leave the altar alone. Seems to be okay here. I mean, could be a good place if you guys do want to rest up. I know I'm fine. I won't really get anything out of a rest. No, me neither. I will. <laughs> I can, oh, wait. I can signs to Kess. I could also do with a rest. Um, I can also rest too. I don't really well, need in, one, in but case, I can, I I can keep an eye out on the doors. Make sure that we... Uh, right. Those of us who won't okay. benefit, we can just keep an eye out. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. All right. All right. I, so, for whatever reason, cast a spell without using my Pact Magic spell slot, so... <laughs> like an idiot. So any one of you like that wants idiot. to uh, take up a short rest, uh, you can. So roll hit dice to heal yourself. Uh, if you get anything bad after, short, bad after short, short rest, you can. Uh, um, whilst we are resting, I will cast... Uh, cast. I will use Vigilant uh, Blessing. Um... Oh, uh, uh, I'm broke. Okay. Even though, broke. Bitch. Even though he uh hates the magics, but I mean, vigilant blessing isn't. I feel like vigilant blessing isn't a puke fest like that vision is. It? It's just it a bit. Like, it's just a bit ugh, yucky. It is, it is a blessing. It do be a blessing. Um. All right, I, I suggest that uh, we might as well we take our own short take rest. our own short rest here. Yeah. Uh, I haven't rolled a cigarette. Oh, that's tough shit. Get to rolling. <laughs> we'll be back in a few minutes uh, before the party uh, the, potentially gets to the second part of the trident. Potentially not. Oh, nice. See? Thanks for watching so far, gamers. We appreciate you. Um, still raising money for charity. Explain more charity for all the information. And we'll be back in a few minutes. Brb. <laughs> oh if I eat it, <laughs> I'm fucking dying, dude. I eat it so. If I eat it so, <laughs> this fucking Twitter account is fucking oh, amazing. Oh my god. Ay 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 ay. Hey gamers, we're back from our uh, back from our break. Oh my god, I just fucking. Oh, that's oh. funny. That's fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking. Funny. I love that Laura's gonna see all of these later with like yeah. absolutely no, zero context. Oh, oh my god! god. Gonna be great. Okay, mm -hmm. so you lot short rested. Uh, mm -hmm. No one came to inter uh, to interrupt you at all. Yay! So now there's a passageway that leads east and a passageway that leads north. What would you guys like to do? Uh, I think we should go north. I'm assuming that's excluding the passage where we came in through. Yeah, it's excluding the passage you came in from. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. When you well, it, it, okay, have we got a reason to go north, or is that um, just? Well, no, Celeste, she says that she says the peace north. Say. So if we keep sending going north, yeah. I find it. I mean, no. it's the most lo it's the most yeah. logical thing we've got currently going. I hate it, Bashir. Sure. Oh, don't you hate it? All right, I'll lead us north, I guess. All right, so you guys head I'm into the you. northern chamber, and you enter a, a a very large circular chamber. In the middle of this room, you can see a large, deep pit, and peering over the edge of the pit, you can see 
a green crystal uh, protruding the ground. And inside of it, like stuck in, stuck inside of it, you can see a metal rod sticking out. Which uh, you'd assume would be what you were looking for. How far down is this, like, pit? It's about a 30 foot drop. 30 foot drop. Yeah. Wait, so circular chamber, in the middle of the chamber, a hole. Yeah, just a very, a, a 30 foot 30 deep pit. 30 foot deep hole. Yeah. With mm. protruding from the bottom. A green crystal, a green crystal and crystal this, like, second part of the shaft of the trident, uh, kind of just sticking out of the What crystal. else, aside from the pit, what else is in the room? <clears throat> Uh, not much else. There is the same like bluish crystals lighting up the ceiling, making so that this uh, entire chamber is dimly lit. Uh, other than the pit, there there doesn't really seem to be anything particularly interesting about this chamber. So during during the short rest, else at the bottom of the hole. Sorry. Sorry. So during that short rest, I would have put the globe away. I'm just okay. Honest. What was that, Duke? Do we see anything else at the bottom of the hole aside from a crystal and a? Not as far as you can tell. No. No, no doors or anything like that down there. Okay, uh, so it's fairly far down, so if someone has to go down, it should probably be me or Dagon, because we're the ones least likely to break our fucking knees. Just use a rope. Please just use a rope. Yeah. <laughs> Does I it mean, look like there's anything to tie a rope up this top end? There's some rocks and stuff around that you could probably tie a, tie um, a rope up to. Okay, before anyone goes down, uh -huh. I'd like to pull out my bullseye lantern. Okay. And shine that down there. It emits a sixty-foot light cone. Mm -hmm. Um, and then oh, where did it go? There's, um, and then after that, it's in a uh, dim light for an additional sixty feet. Can okay. we see anything? No, you can see that the light kind of reflects off of the green crystal, kind of. Painting the walls of this pit with with uh, some green light, but other than that, it's not. It's just a crystal with the thing sticking in it down there. And, well, it's very deep. Um, <clears throat> we could jump down. That's I... not though. Well, I no, no, no. Go... I, I, I could slow us. Do we all need to go down? Is that maybe not the best idea? Let's be real, books. You probably will do. There's probably some challenge we have to do to get this out. Okay. I said we tie a rope around a rock and lower that down. Definitely. And whoever goes, we don't have to use magic. We don't have to use. Any to use I, I don't need magic to go. Like I can just go down there. It's a forty foot hole. We have a fifty foot rope. Daigon can just go down there. I mean, having the rope is good in case something goes horribly fucking wrong. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. But I think maybe this horrible. might yeah. be a waste of magic, knowing that we might have to fight fucking dickhead High Castle. I will, I will attest that I guarantee we'll have more difficulty getting out than getting down. And the yeah. rope is probably a good idea to get out. So why don't either me or Daigon or both go down with a rope around our waist? That's also tied up here, because then if something goes does go horribly wrong, someone can yank us out. Yeah, sounds fair enough. And I'd much rather it be Dargan, because she's not as heavy. Hmm. <laughs> I would rather nobody went in the hole alone, but... Well... <clears throat> I can go down there. If anyone's going to be pulling anyone out of the hole, surely, Brooks, it would be best if it were you, the one doing the pulling. So, you could pull Dargan out of the hole. Maybe Jax could pull... Me out of the hole, or something, or, or like Kai could pull me out of the hole. I could do that. I think, regardless, we're going to be going. I, th I think we're all going to be going down there, right? I mean, how sturdy does like this up this, this room look apart from this cabin? Like, does it look like it's still like this is this is this hole look like it's been like carved into the room, so like it's gonna be like weakened <clears> on like <throat> the edge, or does it look like it's sort of almost like Make a make a, a nature one. check. A twenty one. Definitely seems um, not natural. This uh, the hole is perfectly circular. Um, yeah, this. I don't, I don't know if man made is the right word, right. but it's definitely but... not a natural hole. Okay. Does it look? Say, does it look like? Not fragile, like obviously it's got like. Does it look it could be weakened slightly? 
from having this like unnatural hole there, or does it look, is it looking still pretty like? No, good it looks pretty. Looks pretty sturdy. You know, like loose rocks or shit like that. That's cool. Okay. I get my Andy. rope out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna tie the end around Dagon. I'm gonna secure the other end on a piece of rock if I can, but I also want to be tied in the middle of it so that if the rock should fail. I've still got the rope around me. <coughs> okay. Do I yeah. need to make any checks for this? Uh. Nah, this is not a very complicated thing you're trying to do. You got 50 foot okay. rope, you got plenty of rope. It's to basically like rock to Brooks, Brooks to Dagon. Yeah, no, you're fine. You're Being, fine. Uh, you know, survival man, I'll, I'll help him out with all the. Yeah, the, the combination of the two of you. Uh... I start tying it, and da Davian's like, no, 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 that's the wrong knot. If that fails, it's going to whack you in the stomach. You should do this. Precisely. So is Daigon going to climb down? <laughs> uh, yeah, Daigon <laughs> will climb down. Uh, make an athletics or acrobatics check with advantage because of the security that is the rope. With advantage? He, yes. Which is to send Daigon down. Because then if Daigon dies... Laura won't be here to be sad about it. I mean, <laughs> the good the good news is that Daigon has slow fall. Mm -hmm. I rolled a natural fire and a natural eight for a total of 16. 16? Oh, you're fine. Daigon makes so her way I down, and she sat, now stands like at the bottom of the pit. And now that she's down there, it gives a bit more perspective of how big this crystal actually is. This crystal is about as big as Daigon is, like in, in height. Okay. I will, um, uh, I'll take out my rope, and I will... Um... Sort of do the same process with Jax that Brooks did. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll try and make my way down there as well. All right. Uh, athletics or acrobatics check with advantage, please. <laughs> yes, Natural do you want to... That's 20, yeah, with ease. Oh. Do you want to keep an eye on Daigon so that Daigon signs that she wants to come up? Yeah, that's part Making... of the reason I came down here. I realized as soon as she got there, I was... we... she's not going to be able to tell us anything. So. I mean... I... Yeah, yeah. A uh, little, but yeah. I'm gonna hold out Belshu's vessel uh, mm -hmm. over the hole, disappear into it, let it fall to the floor, and then pop out. Okay. So, so I'm we have Kess, Daigon, and Davian like at the bottom of this pit, standing before the uh, green crystal. Daigon <laughs> just gives you a look. So. This uh, thing that's in the crystal. Mm -hmm. Can I reach it? Can I hold it? Can I touch it? Can I uh, it sticks out from like the top of it, uh, so you might have to do you know kind of like kind of like climb up to it maybe uh, because it's about as high as it's about as tall as you. It sticks out like about six foot out of the ground, um, and the, the the this like metal rod slash shaft sticks out like right in the tippy top, so you might have to climb up to it, but. Uh... Shouldn't be too hard. This crystal thing. Mm -hmm. What does it look like? It is a uh, fairly large, just round-ish cluster of green crystal. Uh, the green right. color itself, it's not a bright green. It's more of like a sickly, dark green color. Okay. <clears throat> does it... Is it... When I... Is it cold to the touch? Is it warm to the touch? Is it making any sound... Uh, it is not making any sound. It's, um, it's a little cold to the touch, yeah. Not unnaturally so, though. Mm, no. Okay, I'll see if I can get a solid hold, and I'll try and climb up the okay. front of the crystal. It's the same green as the splotches on my skin. A little you darker. splotches on your skin. Yet. A little darker than the color of green that that would have, uh, Bell. But we can see. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to make your roll check for it because it's not a very high climb. Well, yeah, you managed to climb uh, on top of this uh, this crystal. Did you attempt to... Uh... I guess I'm just going to, like, sword in the stone this, this bitch. <laughs> okay. As you begin pulling the uh, rod, make a strength check. Oh, God. Fuck you win off. these. I yeah. don't, actually. You yes, you do. do. You've got a plus 15. two. I believe. A 15. As you begin pulling, there's a bit of movement that you get from, from the rod. 
but the entire room begins to rumble and shake. And you all kind of like start being moved upwards as the crystal... Everyone in the pit? Everyone in the pit, yeah. Uh, as okay. the crystal kind of raises from the ground, revealing that underneath the level of rock, there's even more crystal. And as you kind of get raised up, there's this very tall green crystal being, creature. Oh. That, uh, this it seems that the crystal part that was sticking out is supposed to be its head, and this rod is just stuck directly in its head, and there's just I'm this crystal golem, this, this crystal golem, with the three of you that were down there, now on top of it, Davian on its head, Kes and Diagon on its shoulders, and it's basically raises himself out of the uh, pit to the point where bottom half of the, like, below his waist is still in the pit, but above his waist is outside of the pit. So there's just this large, like, 30-foot-tall crystal being just sticking out of the pit now, and uh, you hear this loud noise that just sounds like ground uh, like, it sounds like almost like the sound you would imagine an earthquake making. Just this, just this rumbling of 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 stone and 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 ground. Um, I would like I'm to guess pulling... initiative. Fuck. Yep. I was gonna say I'm pulling Dagon out, but it's too late now. We're up. You're up. The up. We're up. Yeah. We're on it. Who's on the head? Away then. You know. Pulling Dagon I mean. would make her fall off like a thirty foot drop. Now. Lol. She can tank it. Fucking right. just breaks her back, fucking... <clears throat> oh, I have, uh, I have advantage. I have advantage? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to beat an 18, but we'll see. No, I do. How was that thinking? I did not. Mm. I did, however, you I wrote... that negative and you didn't get it. So you know the fucking cleric dice that are cursed as shit? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been rolling those for Diagon, and I actually got a good roll on them. Whoa, oh, above nice. a 10. <laughs> oh, yeah, above a 10. It's like Laura's here in spirit. You're like a 12. You're like a dick. Above a 12. That doesn't exist. You're lying. <laughs> there is no number above 12. Doesn't for me. It's, it's yeah. right. it adds it, it adds up to 21. Initiative is 20 plus, please. Uh, 24. Uh, 24 for Diagon, 23 for Brooks. Uh, which one has the higher dex? Is it Elasmo or Diagon? I would, I would assume Diagon. Diagon has a plus five. Yeah, I have a plus four. Right. So yeah. Oh, Brooks and Elastron have the same dex. That's yeah, what, 19? 19 dex. No, oh, I've got 18. Brooks. Anyone else playing well, Pulse or is that it? 15 to 20? 17. 16. 17, 16. I need to roll to the whole mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Cookie's dead. Mm -hmm. I'm so depressed. <laughs> I have a plus 9 to this shit. <laughs> Rest in peace, King. Alright. Uh, oh, 10 to 15? Yeah. Rest in power, King. <laughs> It's, it's just Jax that we're waiting for, right? I believe yeah. everyone else has... Uh, Jax, what is your roll? Six. Nice. <laughs> God. Man, All right. Positive yeah. number! So, uh, Does that mean we rolled the same thing, so we both rolled seven? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Duality of man. All right. I don't know what so I was saying. That, but... uh, you are now engaged with this this crystal golem. Uh, Diagon gets to go first. Engaged? Engaged? And Laura goes first! <laughs> I mean, Dagen. does he give us a ring and the stone in the ring is like Has this thing attacked us yet? Crystal, you know? Uh, no. Like it hasn't, it hasn't, it hasn't, hasn't attacked yet, no. It hasn't done anything yet, really, has it? <sighs> no, it just responded to feeling a yanking feeling in its head and Get it's just now. Tug on his rod. <laughs> oh, actually. I don't. Okay. I Real quick. That. I need everyone oh, to fuck. make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, okay. I oh, should win these. Double fuck. Double. Oh my god. Saving throw. So Diagon got a six. Why do I open up my goddamn okay. mouth? Brooks got a 13. Okay. 25. Okay. I get plus nine mm -hmm. my wisdom save. So do I! You get 11. 11. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Okay. So I get a plus master. four to my wisdom save. Mm -hmm. Seven. Oh god! Still okay. better than Koiba. I'm gonna use my DM's inspiration. Okay. Oh my Holy god! Fuck. <laughs> We're that bad at this. How when did you worse? get inspiration? What did? You... It's worse. 
Oh no. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, 14. 14? You got it like two sessions back. Okay. Yeah, I got it when I, uh, blew um, up the ship. Yeah. For those of you that failed, are oh, Brooks, failed. Diagon, Elazarin, and Jax. So it's, oh. um, it's above a 13, good to know. Brooks. Yes. Uh, hold on. I bet it was a 14, Ethan. Watch it be. <laughs> I need to roll a D100. Give me a sec. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Brooks, for the next 10 minutes, you gain the short-term madness. Um, oh, cool. The character must use his action each round to attack the nearest creature. Okay. Oh, God, no. Okay. Um, Daigon. Okay. They start killing Brooks. Yeah. Daigon. Yeah. He can move and then use your action. Daigon not only gains... Oh, wait, actually, another one. Daigon has to, um... Oh, no, shit. The character retreats into her mind and becomes paralyzed. Okay. Oh. So Daigon is just paralyzed on top of the shoulder of this crystal golem right now. Yay. She's like a cat when someone puts something on top of their head. Oh, my God. Brooks is going to punch me. I mean... Well, you can move first, right? Didn't say the start. Maybe the... All I'm saying is Brooks is currently tied to Daigon. Daigon's 30 feet up. For the sake of this, I'm going to have to DM this to Beanie, but just try your best thing? not to metagame. No okay. I, oh, great. Ideally, I would have DM'd this to Laura, but she's not here. Okay. Uh, oh, on boy. top of that, something else happens to Daigon that I'll let you know of now. Oh my god, Daigon's getting fucked. Is this her engagement present? A new character? <laughs> 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 it's all shiny. I got you a blank new character sheet for reason. <laughs> Something old, Daigon. Something new. <laughs> the new character. Something blue, the color of the character. Something borrowed, <laughs> my D&D &D book. Um, <laughs> you can make your new character. Something borrowed, my trauma. He's oh, D&D beyond. Something borrowed, care. while Daigon's life was temporary, right? Mm. <laughs> I borrowed yeah. her character and got See, her killed. Now I'm worried what's going to happen to me and Davian, though. Or, yeah. And me. I, I passed, oh no, bro. watch you two get like the... No, oh, Lazarus, we're okay with you dying, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. You don't have any cakes um, so... Hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm not done yet, I'm not done yet, I'm not done yet. Um, You're not done yet! Well, do, can I, do I, should I tell you what the thing is that she's getting? Maybe? I don't know. Do I need, I mean, do uh, I need to know for this session? This. Hold. Ah, uh, the way. This might be the point where Dutch turns around and goes, actually, I'm going to play Dagon for the rest of the session. Uh, patitis, uh, patitis bay. I'm what? terrified. I feel so, so bad, guilty. Dude. Oh, you, Ethan. Not dying. There you go. So, uh, not dying. Just keep that in mind, uh, Beanie. Ethan, okay. Uh, I can work with that. Yeah, send that to Laura real quick, see what she says. Yeah. Lazarin? <laughs> yep. <laughs> you... I'm dead. Oh, Mel. <laughs> also <laughs> become paralyzed. Oh no. Idiot. Did this man just roll the same thing on a d100 twice? No, it's just like between 1 and 20. It's like a range. Oh, right, right, right. So, uh, Jax? I just come carried. Nothing else happens to me. I'm just paralyzed. Uh, I get a short-term become... madness. Oh, I'm already God. crazy. You got a short-term madness. Uh, this character begins babbling and is incapable of normal speech or spell casting. <laughs> oh, sick, dude. <laughs> And and bad, 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 for how like long? Him. For the next 10 minutes. Okay. And because you failed oh, the save extremely badly, <laughs> I'm also going to have to DM you. <laughs> what the oh, fuck? Oh, fuck. Oh, it's people who no, this is a fucking, no, this is the fucking mechanic from the Halloween one shot last year, dude. Yeah. Is it? Are you sure? Yeah. 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 Yes. This is the madness mechanic is. from the Halloween one shot last year. Fucking, oh my god, it is. Or what if it's something completely different because Dutch homebrew is half the shit he gives us? No, so but I'm anyway, just saying, like, guys, the, the application um, is the same. Similar... Everything's fine. Oh, I Dagen, don't trust that. Dagen's gonna I'm a bitch. someone's fucking evil. I'm about to fucking good. <laughs> I get to know, and you don't. Die. Guys, I'm just having a god breakdown. It's fine. I, do you know what? I'm not gonna message Laura. I'll wait till... I I'll wait no, till no, no. I her. want you to message her. Yeah, I saw it. So that is uh, something that now also happens to Jax. 
I don't want Laura's reaction to okay. be anymore. So. With that out of the way, the rest of you made the save. Uh, those of you that failed, so Brooks, Daigon, Elanstrin, and Jax. I mean, I know two of you are paralyzed, but you were also considered frightened of this thing. Oh. Okay. Uh, so we can't move closer to it. Correct. Uh, so now it is Daigon's turn. <laughs> Daigon is Daigon's paralyzed. paralyzed. Let me quickly see. Um, Do I, does save. she get a save? No. Um, okay. Paralyzed, the effect ends if the character takes any damage. So for okay. now, Daigon is just paralyzed. That's her turn. Uh, Elazarin is also paralyzed. paralyzed. Uh, yeah. Same thing, same shit. Uh, oh, this game is. I finally roll good initiative, right? And I'm going like yeah. first or second. <laughs> I get shitting paralyzed. How many told you how much I fucking hate DD? <laughs> uh, Brooks. Not recently. You're up. Okay. No. Uh, oh, who is the closest one. person to me? Well, you kind of use yourself as like an intermittent rock yeah so you're still entangled in the rope so i'll let you choose in this case Don't let um, me choose. between anyone that's not on top of the crystal being right now um so that would no, actually no i think jacks would be closest because jacks kind of did the same thing as you did and acted like oh, jacks rope. is closest so jacks is closest to you and you do not have to How move far towards the Jax? being uh like like 15 feet but he, is he towards the being no you're like equidistant okay. from the being so you will be able I'm, to... So I'm... I, I mean, I have to move 15 feet up to Jax. Yes. By moving 15 feet, mm -hmm. does that now yank on the rope and pull Dagon off? No. It's a 50-foot rope and it's like 30 foot between... No, no, no. You have 20 okay. feet of, of... Of 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 slack. Of slack, yeah. So that... Which yeah. is now like 5 foot of slack. Okay, good Correct. to know. Because there'll be a point where I can't go any further. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm going to bonus action rage... And Deccan. Yeah. Because I have to treat it as if I'm going all out. Well, it's yeah. You have Just to you have one. to use your action to attack the nearest creature, which in this case. Does, is it, oh, does it specify action? Or it specifies it... action. Yeah. So you don't have to rage. You don't feel compelled okay. to rage. You just so feel I compelled rage. to hit Jax. Wait, does this mean he could potentially use an attack that's a special action and just shove Jax and barely hurt him instead? Just give it to the original Sin AI metagame. Charm? No, it oh, says here, uh, I use an action to attack the nearest creature, so I, well, I would say... It, is that all I do on my turn? Like, do I then... I mean, that's like, your action. What happens? Like, I mean, you can... Yeah, but I have bonus... Like, I have flurry of blows, am I... Or it I have... specifies action. So I don't have to bonus action attack no. him? Okay, well... Sorry, but I'm gonna punch you. With the knuckle. Wet dry, bitch. So, Jax, you just see Brooks approaching you, and before you know it, he just blindsides you. And just As he does, they're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because Jax can't fucking talk. So, Jax is battling. Oh my god. Uh, what That's a 20. That's a 27 to hit. Man, man's gonna fall like Futurama fucking President Nixon. <laughs> For 27 to hit. I would say hits. hits. Do, do, I need to, do I need to answer that? Like. <laughs> Yes. Uh, for nine points of bludgeoning damage. So, Jack, you just, <laughs> just fucking. You all see this, but you all see. But besides us paralyzed, you just see oh, yeah. Brooks just decking Jax. Just no, I see. Well, I just can't I do out. I'm just like, so, so I've Wait, used my action to attack him. And, uh, and Kai doing okay? Yeah, they're fine. They they made their saves. Okay. I used my action to attack him. So how does this work, right? Am I now in control after taking the action and can do what I want for my bonus action? Or is that just like, I use my action to attack him, I end my turn? Let me quickly... <clears throat> because I have bonus... Like, if I was control person, I'd, I'd hit him again as my bonus It just action. says you use your action each round to attack the nearest creature, which you've now done, so the rest is up to you. It does seem a bit odd, though, that, I mean, like have some kind of clarity mixed in to be able to also oh like, I'm sorry, I'm no that's a water it. elemental it's it's also <laughs> using that using your action right can you you could move before your action to move to someone to make something else closer by that wording i so you they, you had to use obviously your this first. is up to dutch i would interpret that as yeah. brooks uses his action to hit jacks and then that's it and, that's all he does okay fair enough i feel i feel like that's like you that's your turn your turn is you ridiculous. use your don't you have, two hits. Don't you have two hits though no because i'm multi-classed true 
I only have bonus oh, shit, action that's hits. Right. And if I'm not yeah, using no, that's my fair. bonus action, that makes action. sense to me. It makes sense to me that you, you just you, you're you're suffering from a short term madness. So that's all you can yeah. really do. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. So I end my turn there. Alrighty. Uh, guess. Okay. Guess um, That's me. Mm -hmm. So you just watched Brooks as he just fucking punched the fuck out of Jax. You look not at Jax and all, and all and all Jax is is doing is just. <laughs> I knocked some sense out of him. I can't do anything to help that because you can't charm someone who's already charmed if he's charmed. Am I charmed? Can you charm the charm that's charming the charm? Am I charmed? <laughs> I don't I know. Maybe. Uh, instead, I'm going to cast uh, Shadow Blade again. Okay. And just stamp down. Stop. With, just go. Go for it. Into the crystal. I'm One sorry she didn't stab me. It is dim light as well. Dutch. Hello? Is it is it dim light? Uh, yeah, the entirety of the cavern you've been in so far has been dimly lit, yeah. Yeah! Okay, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 20 psychic okay. damage. Oh, wait a second. Oh my god, does it resist psychic? Tell me that, please tell me that. 20 points of psychic, okay, anything else? Uh, three points of thunder. Okay. Alright, magic dragons. And that's it. Okay, okay. anything else? No. Right, Davian. You're on top of the boy's head. You can see that there's a bit of shenanigans going on among your group what do you do <clears throat> when i pulled the rod mm -hmm. did i feel it move you felt a bit of uh a bit of movement yeah can i can i get the rope off me as a free action or is that going to take me is that going to take me a second sure Okay, because I just don't want to be attached to whatever the fuck's going on down there anymore. So I just kind of want out. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get the rope off me, and then <clears throat> with Onu, I'm gonna tr go and try and fucking yank this thing out of its head again. Oh, yeah, you, you're making Onu kind of assist you in that. Yeah, so so hopefully I can get an advantage. With yeah, him. make a strength check with advantage. Strong. I think he's up the same strength as me, which is not super strong, you know. He got that octopus grip. Yeah, exactly. He's got that octopus. He got them suckers, you know. Never mind. <laughs> oh, 13. It's, 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 you can definitely feel that there's some wiggling happening, but you don't actually manage to pull it out any further or anything. Now, you still have a bonus action if you'd like. Get in a little wheel room with that rod. This seems a little cheeky, but then can I use my bonus action to command owner to triumph? Like, is that... No. No. I feel like Onu has acted uh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's by assisting fair. you. That's fair. Um, <clears throat> uh, you know, I'll just, I'll just hunt his market, man. Like, okay. whatever, just in case I have to punch it at some point. But I really don't think attacking it's going to be the way to go. <laughs> I just uh, bit my fucking right. cheek. Ah, motherfucker. Is that your turn? Yeah. Oh, a temporary madness now from biting his own cheek. Yeah, what the fuck? Uh, Human. Celeste. Mm. Is going uh, to. is going to cast a first level guiding bolt at the crystal golem. Well, that's a 25 to hit. Gosh dang. 25 to hit. 
Oh, you mean Bob? Do something. Yeah, sort of fucking Wait, she doesn't even need to use spell for that. She can just do that because she has that fucking star map. That's kind of wacky. That's crazy. Star mommy. What? She can cast guiding bolt. Yeah, she can draw a star map on me any day. I mean, what? Uh, yeah, you know the guidance cantrip. You have the guiding bolt spell prepared. It counts as a druid spell for you, and doesn't count against the number of spells you have prepared. You can cast guiding bolt without spending a spell slot. You can do this three times. Oh, shit. Yeah. So there's three free guiding bolts. That's fucking yeah. nuts. That's sick, yeah. dude. So she's, <laughs> yeah, she's nuts. Just gonna fucking guiding bolt. Yeah, yeah. For so forty-six so damage. So. Sixteen points it. of is it radiant damage? Yep. Yeah. Sixteen points of radiant damage. And whoever attacks Wait, it next has a what level? It'd be first. If you, it's first if it's level. First, first level. Yeah. Right, right. Because in the spell list, uh <laughs> it just says like first level guiding bolt, uh three mm. uses, blah blah blah. So I can just mm. tick it off there. Um so sixteen points of damage, and I believe the next attack roll made against the targets before the end of her next turn has advantage. Because it's all shiny now. That's going to be Celeste's turn. Now it's Kai's turn. And Kai... Kills him in one hit. <laughs> ...is going to... I don't like we still not got to the map. The what? I don't like you. Oh. <laughs> I don't like that we still not got the to battle the map that we have. Map. We have yeah, that we have. Map, it... but it's not for this. It's not on this, and I thought it was going to be in this. Well, no. No. You don't need to prep a map. battle map if it's going to be a TPK. You do, because I'm on the scene die. <coughs> Kai is Yo, going to walk up to the I think golem. I die first. He's going to walk up to the golem and is going to uh, just do, do, do the old green flame blade, you know? A little trustworthy. It's a natural 19, so that will definitely hit. Uh, boom. Four, uh, nine points of damage total. So, you know, I have a question. Okay. Right? Uh, and I'll leave this up to an you answer. guys as well. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. Uh huh. <laughs> I forgot that Kai has Scimitar of Wounding, which I have been ignoring this entire time so far. So, let me quickly have a look see and see what that entails. I think it wounds him. Hit uh, points lost. Wound the target. Turn of each turn takes one d4 necrotic damage. Okay, so we just need to make. Some... Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, and that's Kai's turn, which makes it Chip's turn, and Chip is going to fly up to Davian. And give him the benefits of the help action. Gonna have just a whole flock of animals trying to pull this thing out. <laughs> Gonna uh, snow white Jax. it. It's your turn. <laughs> uh, um, you can, you can throw spells spells and blubbering and punches, talk. though. Um, everybody else is like in the cavern, correct? Yes. I'm not. Davin has to... cut the rope that I, I had attached to him. He's he's uh, taking it off from you. Mm. Okay. Fuck, I can't cast spells. That totally just ruins what I was just thinking of. True. Fuck. Is it just spells with a verbal component? No, it just says spells? enable to speak or cast any spells or spell casting. Yikes. So he just cannot cast any spells. If I jump down there, I'm going to take so much damage. It's not worth it. I mean, there's no jumping down. It is no longer a pit. It's towering above it you now. Oh. Above us. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He went. He went. Yeah. And now I'm on the head, like, whoa! So I could just, hat. like... Hey, you take him right here? So I can just hit no. its legs, I guess? Uh, it oh, is... Torso. It's, like, torso up is above the ground. The rest is all but beneath it, so you can just walk up to its fucking big old torso and just... Yeah, punch it? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll take the... I'm assuming I have to walk out of Ethan... Or, uh, uh fucking Brooks's melee. He's not going to swing. He has to use his action to hit. You can't use his reaction yeah. to take opportunity attacks. Okay, like te yeah, just, technically not yeah. a hostile creature. So you... you okay. you, yeah, so yeah I'll, I'll, I'll just walk away to the crystal, man. Okay. Oh, no. Then go ahead and give him uh, two good old wax with my gauntlets. All right. <laughs> um, 21 to hit. Yes. And a 26 to hit. 
also hits. Oh my god, my nose is so fucking itchy, dude. Oh. You ever thought of uh, itching it? You don't itch you an itch, scratch you scratch an itch. An itch. Thanks, Craig. Uh, that's gonna hurt. Um, 25 points of thunder damage. 25 points of thunder damage? Gosh, dang. You can just hear the, like, eyes. you, th those that are, well, actually, I guess it's just, no, Kess is also up there. So Kess and Davian, you just feel this entire being just, like, vibrate and just, because of the impact of the thunder, <laughs> the thunder damage, the, the, just the, the big old gauntlets that Jax uses. Um, and Jax, where you hit it, you can see that part of its crystal body are beginning to crack. Fuck. Oh. You know, I have a really good spell for the crystal creatures, by the way, mm -hmm. but I uh, can't cast spells. Yeah, fine. Um, uh, it is now the golem's turn. We we'll roll yeah, an extra one on initiative. Um, Finally, someone with my dex. Takes three points of necrotic damage from the uh, wound and now has to make a saving throw, I believe. To, yeah, no longer wounded. All right, cool. The golem is going to... Use an ability called Gaze of Despair. Yo, Bell. Uh, each non undead creature within that. 60 feet of the golem, so that's everyone, needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, another one? Yeah. Another wisdom saving throw? Wait, if I'm paralyzed, does that affect me anyway? It's just oh. Dex, well, no. Dex is straight to fail, right? I yeah. forgot to ask no. last time. Is this like a, a charm? It's not any better. If so, I get advantage. Oh, wait, I think I have advantage too. Uh, the previous one wasn't. This one. This is. was a charm? Yeah. Yay. Oh, yeah. So, I'm retarded. Oh. Um, yeah. I have advantage on all wisdom saving throws. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, 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 remember that last time. Yeah. Oh, natural 20 on this one. All over my body if you now. read your character sheet, you'd know what you tap. I, 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 I shut you up. Guys it's in a small little clip. corner. You guys, oh, how, you how did that cloak work out for you? I'm leaving. Yeah, exactly. You sold it. All right. I hate you. Again? 24. It's, it's natural 20, 20. Natural 20. 28. 21 for Daigon, 15 for Brooks. Sheesh. Okay. We all wised up real quick. Uh, Celestia and Kaibo fail. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> um, they take... Oh, you take damage? I should have fucking, like, auto fail. 12 points of psychic damage. Nice. And are charmed. They are filled with nice. thoughts of depression and emptiness. Oh, oh that's, no. so that's me. Oh. Hang on, would that would that not affect Elastin because he's already feeling that right now? <laughs> he's already depressed. He's already fucking depressed and empty. All right, and that is its turn. Uh, back to Daigon, who is still paralyzed. Uh, so that's that. Uh, same for Laszlo. So Brooks, uh, who's the closest person still? Technically, Golpers. Bearing in mind that I can't move closer to the thing that I'm frightened of. Oh, that's true. Gulpers. That would be... Gulpers! <laughs> Can he move to anyone? It's whoever's closest. As long as it's not towards the thing, because he's also frightened at the same I mean... Time. No, that's what I'm saying, like, it, with that being the case, the, I mean, it's the actual you, wording. You, it's you it, act, I use my action, action to attack whoever is closest. Yeah, yeah. not your turn. So you can move yeah. to whoever you want, yeah. and then that would be your no, closest. No, 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 no. I mean, that's... That's like trying to fucking rule. Yeah. More so than yeah. No. Exactly. So what I mean, do? I mean more. If I can't move towards anyone, I'm just gonna use a thrown weapon. Yeah. Okay. I well, mean, I'm technically behind. So you. who's who's closest? First of all, take your pick between Jack, Celestia, and uh, Kai. Am I not right next to him as well? That didn't go down. Allows him to go down. So. Oh, I'm oh, Lazarus. Like, okay, yeah, true. Uh, well, before baby, Jax is one. Celestia's two, Kai's three, Lazarin's four. It's Kai. Yeah. How far away is Kai? Uh, like 15 feet. Is he towards the monster? No. I move up towards Kai. Yeah. The rope is still attached to me. It, does that impact anything? Uh, no, because you kind of... Um, okay, you know. that's fine. It doesn't hamper my movement. No, it doesn't. I hit Kai. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who's Imagine depressed. the paralyzed Daigon just getting off the fucking... Who is depressed? <laughs> That's true. Does that affect his AC? Uh, it doesn't affect his AC, no. Uh, that's a... Uh, 21 to hit. That hits. 
for nine points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, my turn. <clears throat> okay. Kess. Uh, I'm going to attack it with my Shadow Blade and my Dagger again. Go for it. Oh, natural 20. Huge. Huge. So I act as if one of them is, like, I get a full damage roll, and then... Yes. So then I roll over whatever the that. damage dice are on Shadow Blade... 3d8. So it automatically does 24, and then you roll another 3d8. Yeah. Right. Okay, so that is... Uh, 32, 39, 44, 40. Wait, what level did you cast the spell at? Third level. Okay. Yeah, it's 3d8, then, yeah. What did I say? 44. Jeez. Yeah. So 44 plus whatever. Plus 4, so 48. Jesus. With that, the entire body of this crystalline figure just shatters. The people that were on top of it tumble down 30 feet, but the entire body of this crystal golem just explodes. Fucking shrapnel of crystals shooting everywhere, just... Uh, so... Davian, make a dex saving throw. Kess, you're also on top of it, so also make a dex saving throw. Yep. I would tell Daigon to make one as well, but she's paralyzed, so she auto-fails that. So she just takes yeah. the full fall damage. Which is uh fourteen for me. Okay. Did not roll well. For me. Yeah. Would but... slow fall still work while she's paralyzed? No. Nope. Use... It's a reaction. So Diane Damn, takes slow, twenty so points. Know, twenty points of uh, bludgeoning damage from the fall. Uh, okay. The last uh, uh, not the last one. Uh, Kess and uh, Davian, you take ten. Okay. But they're no longer... Uh, but but Dagon's no, no longer paralyzed. paralyzed because she took damage. Correct. Wait, do cool. all of these effects end anyway? But anyway, now that no, it's dead? No, the short-term madness just lasts for 10 minutes and then automatically clears itself. <laughs> you just let me know when it's over. Yeah. I, I, I told Laura it's not good. And she goes, what happened? I'm like, I don't want to tell you until the end of the session because things may change. Mm -hmm. And she goes, I'm very stressed now. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> right. Uh, with that, the uh, second half of the shaft of the trident is just on the floor now. Uh, or I guess Davian can still kind of have it because he was he was pulling on it kind of yeah. when the thing shattered. So he just, you have it now, but you also... Tumble to the floor with it. Tumble to the floor with it. Uh, uh, so yeah, Brooks... Brooks right now? Sorry? What's Brooks doing right now? Is I mean, Brooks just feels very compelling. Wailing on like Kai. Every, every six seconds, just... Bush, bush. So at some point, Kai I is... I have to grapple him? Yeah, we're going to have to I mean, do him. I need to... So I assume I need to make another attack against yeah, Kai. Yeah, make, make an attack roll against Kai. Uh, that's a 15. Doesn't hit. But okay. Kai is going to... Uh, Kai is going to cast Entangle on you. Okay. Just to try and keep you... What does uh, that do? I need you to make a strength saving throw. Yeah. Okay. And unfortunately, you win. Uh, strength save. Mm -hmm. I'm not raging, so I don't get advantage. So that's a 24. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Kai is then instead <laughs> just going to back away from you. <laughs> okay. Can I help Davian subdue? Yes. Yeah. Uh, can I, can only make an attack against Brooks? Sure. Uh, 22 to hit. That would hit Brooks. Uh, yeah, that hits. Yeah, and so that, he's now grappled by the auto office. grapples because uh, Onu yeah. now just kind of like again just gonna wrap himself around. No, Brooks. why would you put Onu in my melee range? Um, I mean, can we now just pile on him to restrain him? I'll give you advantage because he's already like being grappled by Onu. Yeah, sure. So try and how how do you, do you want to just tie him up with a rope or? Uh, like what do you what do you have in mind? Since Jax is trying to help me, and Jax probably still has the rope tied around him that was tied around me, yeah, we'll just go at it, go after him with the rope and see if we can just stop okay. his throat. Like tie him up or something. Uh, I still have a rope around me as well. Make a... Brooks. Yeah? 
make a dexterity save with disadvantage. With disadvantage? Yeah. And all you hear in your ear the whole time is... <laughs> uh, with disadvantage, that is uh, 16. 16? Okay. Uh, Davian, what's your dex? Eight. What's my dex? Yeah. 18. Okay. I'll say that uh, Brooks fails to save and is now tied up. Okay. Incapable also, of hitting like anyone. I like, feel like oh, I don't kind of say anything like... either, right? Like, nice. Is, any, of... okay, is anyone in my melee range at this point? Oh no, I am. As soon as you're tied up, I mean, yeah. Onu's gonna like, what, try and headbutt someone? Like, because you can try, yeah. <laughs> what what do you mean? I can. Like, I, what, you are pro at this point. Like, you are pro. Tied up. What do I do? No one standing next to you. I have to try and attack someone. Yeah, so you can try, but you'll just kind of like lying on the floor, just kind of like. Yeah, not hitting anything because so, people are like doing the worm, okay. basically. Okay. Yeah. Uh, your, okay. Your, your movement speed is zero, and no one is in your range, so you. Yeah. So you're, you're trying to like just but... spitting at people. Yeah. Um. So what is the rest of you guys doing? What? Uh, Where am I? Did Jax, I what the fuck do we do? I mean... <laughs> what the fuck, man. Uh so did my paralyze yes. now? Or am I still? Yes. You're still paralyzed for ten minutes because you have not taken any damage. So like, is just coherent. I mean, <laughs> so is like his guy like crawled in a corner crying. No, like, he's just, he's just... <laughs> oh, I don't really understand what's going on. So, so Daigon is, he is depressed? on the floor. Yeah. Right now. Uh, that wears off after like a minute. Okay. So even okay. the, the depression. Well, the Celestian, died, uh, Celestian and Kai uh, are no longer under that effect. Um, okay. But so, uh, they're very confused about what the fuck's going on. For context, uh -huh. Dagon is currently sat on the floor, smirking, and if she catches Kesha's eyes, she will sign something along the lines of, I didn't think you'd be this into being tied up. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. That's a good one. Um, good. I'd like to steal a bottle of alcohol from Brand uh, Brooks' bag while he's uh, on the ground. <laughs> Okay. okay. Um, wait, wait, no, no, no. I just had a genius idea. One. Are you I'm gonna the first spot no. you come to? I'm gonna run over to Diagon. Probably. Okay. Yeah. Wait, is Diagon at all with us? Yeah, Diagon's currently sat on the floor watching. But when I talk to Di, if I'm like, Diagon, I need one of your special drinks. <laughs> is Diagon able to co cooperate? Yeah. Diagon. Yes, she is. She's fully you there. You asked Dagon for one of her special drinks? Yeah. Okay, I mean... I explain this for Jax. <sighs> for... Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, 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 okay. What do you think, Mr. DM? Do you think Dagon would agree with this? There are limited how, resources. Okay. She's how, currently how, how, how many does she have? She have. Um, A lot of bottles. Because wasn't she uh, portioning it out? She, she has... Yeah. So she has, she has like, I, it doesn't say how many doses. Oh, she she has quite a lot of servings left, actually. I she think, was the given the fact that if, if Davian yeah. explains that it's to try and get Jax to be able to communicate with us, now that he's only babbling, I think Dagon yep. wouldn't mind. Uh, okay. Sir, Dagon one dose, will give one out. If that isn't true, Laura, then you can flame me. That's my bad. But I, I feel like... Yeah. I, I, think Dagon, I think Dagon would. Obviously, yeah. what you've said... It changes things, so I wanted your opinion. Mm -hmm. So I'll take the vial and I'll run over to Jax. No, like, Dagon acts as normal. It's just she, yeah, you know, you know, like yeah. her, her, her mind is still her own. She just. I'll so run out of. Who thinks her husband but... is a traitor? He's just listen, quirky. man. You're the smart magic one. All right, I, we need to know what's going on here, and I will give him the vial to drink. I will gladly drink the alcohol. Yeah. So <laughs> you can, even though the the madness you are suffering from. Makes it so that you can't speak. You can definitely still think. And can you hear me? I feel trapped in oh. my own mind. Yes. <laughs> what, what is going on, man? What do we do? Elazarin's like. I don't know. I can't talk coherently. I can't cast magic. Uh, well, yeah, that much I've, I've noticed. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on, and I'm still taking the alcohol out of Brooks's bag. Okay. So first <laughs> of all. Are you You're taking the first bottle you come to? Whatever the top bottle is, bro. So one, two. 
Roll a d20 for me. My man really has a fucking collection. Look at fucking... I love how <laughs> Kobe just commits to the bit of being paralyzed, dude. I rolled a nine. Still... Okay, at least he wasn't holding any cake. Uh, one, two, three... Right, so you pull character. out a bottle of rum. <laughs> bottle of rum? Yeah. All right, start drinking it. No, he, if he doesn't want to talk, like it's just he, when he talks, it sounds like, but he doesn't have to talk. Actually, you no, know, it says you start babbling, so you let out a little bit of a babble every once in a while, but you know. Mr. DM. Hello. How long, do, like. I assume that you were telling me when I'm no longer trying to attack everything. It takes 10 minutes, so give it another 5 minutes of, of you know, being okay. tied up. And During then... that time, am I trying to escape the restraints? No. Just okay. Make things very annoying and complicated. <laughs> Alright, so what do you guys do? Uh, how do we do it? Remind me, uh, Ethan, because you, you have the information before you, I would assume. Yes. Uh, how long does uh, a serving of that uh, thinking potion drink prayer. last? Yeah, it's like uh, five, five minutes. minutes. Five minutes. Okay, there you go. Within two, two foot. Feet. Yeah. So Davian can hear Jax, but no one else can at this point. Um. So uh, we have the second thing. Um, yeah. It costs yeah. some people their sanity. It would seem like. Yeah, they'll be fine. Davian hears. Maybe. You can't lose what you didn't have in the first place. <laughs> well, yeah, speak for yourself. Hmm? Just, you know, the... Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Um, should somebody... And she just points at <laughs> Lazarin, who is still... I don't know! I'm don't gonna know. go and, like, kind of gently jab him with my foot. Gently jab him, or are you gonna kick him? I am gonna kick him. Okay, make an attack with advantage because he's paralyzed on the floor. On the floor. Uh, that was an eighteen. <laughs> eighteen an hits, 18. right? Just hits, yeah. Uh, yeah. well, because it is an unarmed strike. So, what's your strength modifier? <laughs> it's also a crit because he's paralyzed. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, you I have a plus zero. Yeah, plus zero. <laughs> it's oh, one damage. You deal no damage. No, it's one. Nice. Oh, it's, it's one, one. It's one damage. One. Yeah, it's one. minimum. So you deal, one. yeah. So Lazarin takes one point of bludgeoning damage, but you are no longer uh, paralyzed. She's like, because by that, by by that hurt like thing, if you've got a minus strength score, if you hit someone unarmed, you would heal them because you would do negative damage. <laughs> true. 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 <laughs> You'd be like, ah, you're healed. That would actually be kind of <laughs> yeah, so Lazarin take one point of bludgeoning damage, and you are no longer paralyzed. The first thing is, oh my chin, Kes, <laughs> fuck's sake, you're better. You're yeah, welcome. I mean, thanks, but you're welcome. Right in the sh fuck. <laughs> What's going on with Brooks? Because like paralyzed, I'm still like coherent to everything around me, right? I just can't move. Correct. So yeah. I'm just like, what's going on with Brooks then? <laughs> well, oh, got got all, <laughs> and Brooks got all like, <laughs> and Jack's got all like, <laughs> so. Uh, I think. Let um, me see. Do I have something for this? Whatever this 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 crystal thing was, it may have taken some of their sanity. Oh, a little bit. Yeah. God, no wonder Brooks is like that. Brooks, no wonder uh, Jax is like that. I just felt yeah, really sure sad for a little bit there. That's all that's me. I just felt really sad. Oh, can I try and charm Brooks? You can certainly try. I'm gonna try. Uh, what are you spell? You just casting charm I'm person? Just, yeah, I'm casting charm person. Is that a wisdom saving throw? Yes. Brooks. Make a wisdom saving throw. I guess no, you I'm not gonna give you the choice to just fail because you're you know you're you're actively trying to yum, 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 yum. I had an 18, but it's cocked. Cock. Or cock. That's a nine. So you fail the same? Uh you so fail. You okay. Are charmed, but uh nothing changes in his behavior. Nothing changes. Yeah, it's just now that I don't want to attack. Kes, right? Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, you would never. The thing is, charm person makes people friendly to you. We're all friendly to each other in the first place, so you still. Just yeah, so it doesn't really do anything. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Mm -hmm. Well, that's. Uh, Davian, can you? Would you mind hmm. giving me? The the the, the shaft. 
Yeah, well, I mean, we can always go back to the ship for that. <laughs> I don't think this is the time or the place. Just probably made over. a straight up Mario noise right there. Do you hear? He's like, oh! <laughs> just, oh no! <laughs> just give it to me. I him. passed. I passed. I'm gonna replace the Chris Pratt. She'll look at it and and kind of like as soon as <laughs> she has the one part in, in her one hand, the other part in another hand, and it just automatically just almost like magic just goes. Ptunk. Oh, almost like magic. Oh There's magic in this world. <laughs> oh okay, God, well it's that's, like that's that's she done. Uh, the air. Oh, go. <laughs> it fits, and she just kind of puts it on her back. We, so we have a big stick. Yeah, we just need the, the, the forky bit. No, we just need the kind of most important parts of the trident, I suppose. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, the cake fork. Right. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm sure from this I don't point, it'll be a cake walk to get I the cake fork. don't think it's a cake fork. Cake forks are smaller. Trinets are quite big. It's just a huge cake. I mean... <laughs> yeah, who would eat a whole, very a whole rare, huge cake in one sitting? <laughs> cake forks are very rare. <laughs> who would do such and at a At some point, thing? like, a few more minutes pass, and, and Jax regains his ability to talk and cast spells, and Brooks no longer wants to fucking hit anything. <clears throat> I like to think there's an extra minute or two where we don't believe Brooks. Yeah, he's guys, like, guys, I yeah. promise all right, guys, I won't punch you anymore. Now cut me out. <laughs> like, shut up. No, dude. like, okay. <laughs> Was I aware of like everything that happened the entire time? Yeah. You also know I charmed you. Maybe. So I'm. I mean, I'm still currently charmed by Kess, I assume. Oh yeah, yeah. How you long are. was it last? That spell? An hour. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, that's so good. Dude, remember the argument we had last campaign for casting spells on each <laughs> So, uh. <laughs> different different context, though. So, entirely. Yeah, no, let's that again. I, I wouldn't necessarily mind being untied. Are you gonna hit any of us? I didn't really have much choice at the time. Hmm. I can't. Pro look, I can't promise I'm never gonna hit anyone in this group. You know them as well as I do, but I don't feel. Do you promise not to hit me? Yes, I promise not to hit you. Okay, then we're gonna come out and you. <laughs> Instantly decked care. Oh God, I'm down! I know, I know. No, Jack, Jack, Jack's, like, Jack's can talk again. <laughs> oh, I know. Okay, okay, okay. I, um... He's just faking it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just keeps up the bit for like... <laughs> he talks normally and then just suddenly remembers he's supposed to be doing a bit. Yeah. <laughs> just like... Why are you yeah, ruining my this. bit, bro? Let's, let's go this way. I mean, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, he's ruined my bit. It's like All right, we untie the ropes. Mm -hmm. And we keep the rope. I just talked out my whole bit. Good rope. Oh, sorry. And, uh. Should I, piece. just in case, uh. Cast locate object again, just to make sure that I know where this last part is in relation to us? Yes. Yeah, good of idea. Course. Uh, she casts locate object, and uh, it is directly to the east of you. Roughly. <laughs> 90 feet in a straight line. Nin only 90 feet? In a oh, I guess it's a straight line. In a straight line. So yeah, through walls and shit, yeah. Yeah, she can just go with the wall. Yeah, with the mold earth. Half <laughs> That's a lot of spells. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> uh, no, it's cantrip, so that's 60 feet in a minute. It's cantrip. Oh, it's cantrip. Yeah. True, you're right. Uh, it's 60 feet in a minute, and if she did it twice in each space, so it's a 10 foot corridor so that we could actually stand, it would take roughly about three minutes. I, I suppose I could. Uh, the only issue with that is. Um, We're circumventing a lot of the DM's plans, and that's not cool. Um, <laughs> uh, Who's the DM? He made the NBC have more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Dummy what was that? I don't know it. I don't know. No, no, that. no. I'm just thinking because. Could, but then she can only excavate there. loose earth. So if so, if there's any uh, harder rock in the way, I won't be able to excavate it. So. Well, then we've absolutely already abused that spell earlier in the last session. Yeah, DM's yes. about to add and a giant, discussion. giant rock uh, yeah, in the middle but, of this. But no, no, but like, I just reread it and that's my bad. But yeah. you know, whatever. 
I mean, like a five foot wall, so whatever. But depending for a how big tunnel, the fucking, depending how big the fucking rock is, me and Jax could probably move it. <laughs> uh, let's just find a way around. I was going to say, DM has just added a massive, just, like, lead box of, like... <laughs> <laughs> you mold up. Going... doesn't work, lead. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so you had... To, uh, south not to earth, it's mass. I'm going to rub some restorative ointment on myself. Really. <laughs> oh, just every time, it's, like, it's such a weird, like, thing to... Of course, you just rub ointment after handing just... Celestia's shaft, bro. Yeah, I really um, should have brought the ointment beforehand. It did fit yeah. as well. The only way out of this uh, chamber that would right be place. Uh, south, the way that you entered it from. Uh, but from there, you're back at that altar dedicated to Umberly, uh, and there is a doorway east. that uh, you haven't gone to yet that goes east. Well, that was nice of them to put such a nice uh, convenience doorway there. Get around, I suppose. Uh, so probably prefer this then? than going. The yes. other choice we have is go back to the chasm room and take the other tunnels, but uh, I don't think we want to go back there. What no. do you think, Cass? Oh, after all the rumbling. What? The, like, which way should we go? Which way should we go? Is the rumbling <laughs> still happening? So, like let's, perception check? let's go east. Let's go through the door. <laughs> Start walking towards the door. Okay. Uh, uh, 16. Uh, you hear it. You're further away from it now, but you still hear it like very faintly. Yeah. Okay. I lean over to Kess. I'm just like, don't abuse this power too much, because he will get his revenge. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's fun while it lasts. So as you head so east, be careful. Yeah. You walk through a, a smaller tunnel, but eventually you get into a very large open space. Uh, this area. A large staircase leading up, and you can hear the the sound of a waterfall uh, from that direction. You reckon this is probably where we entered this 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 facility. Uh, this room has another door that on the opposite side of it, so to go further east. But on the northern end of this chamber sits a statue, and at the southern end of the chamber sits a statue. The northern end seems uh, a lot more recent. A statue of a giant wave, and standing in the middle of it, a humanoid figure, a man. The southern one looks a lot older. Uh, a depiction also of a wave, but with from within it, this large upper torso of a feminine-looking humanoid emerges, holding a trident in one hand and a large ship in the other. Uh, I will give Vigilant Blessing to um, Jax. So you reckon that, uh, you know, Stisha and, Stisha and Umberly, yes. How's everybody looking? I'm looking um, fine. I'm a little bit has got a few scrapes, but she's not bloodied. Brooks um, looks untouched. I'm a little bit scratched. Got a bruise from Brooks. <laughs> Celeste, <laughs> right on the Celeste door. is bloodied. And now that I oh. see that, she's just going to quickly cast Cure Wounds on herself. Okay. Missed opportunity. <laughs> it's rubber ointment on. Yeah, I mean, she's no longer bloodied. Boom. Okay. Which way did this? Uh, it was well, a staircase that leads yeah, out of this south. area towards a waterfall that you hear, and you remember. Oh yeah. You remember a waterfall being passed when you enter this place. So you reckon this is like the entryway, the entry hall into this structure, uh, but there is another door that leads like further east. And the statues rather north and south. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go to the door east and check it for traps. Make an investigation check. Hey, still not any better. All right. Um, good thing I'm a plus nine because it's twelve. As far as you can tell, there's no traps. I will open the door. All right. Door open, and it reveals a tunnel. Similar to the one that you just entered from. And oh, this way, really everybody. Fucking tired of just seeing tunnels. Probably wasn't we'll the daylight best. soon enough. Oh, we still I'll see leave us on. Right? All right. Uh, this room is similar to the room that you found on the other side, but instead of an altar to Umberly, it seems to house an altar to Estisha. Estisha? Secret tunnel. 
Um, yeah. That's all I'll say uh, at this current time. Underground complex dedicated to two lovers. And Fun. again, Verona. comparing it to the altar to Umberly, this Estisha one seems a lot more like recently put placed, a lot less uh, Don't old. Don't let the cave get you down, sucker. <laughs> what? Fuck. An avatar <laughs> reference. Oh, that's a good one. Um. Wait, sorry, what did we see? An altar to... An altar to <laughs> I am so an sorry, dude. Assisha. Dude's fucking comment just made me die. Don't an altar to a Assisha. Uh, I'm gonna use my rod to detect magic and take another swig from the room. Okay. Uh, you don't detect magic from the altar. <laughs> but, uh, does it go through surfaces? Ooh. Uh, and certain what ones. Kind of, what kind of surfaces? Specifically rock or ground? Uh, where is it on my spell list? Uh, one foot of stone, okay. one inch of metal, thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood or dirt. Okay. Uh, there is a, like, wall on the eastern side of this room that uh, you can feel. It's made of just ground, dirt, not specifically rock. Um, but you can sense some kind of magic from behind it. There's something behind this wall, and I'll go over to it and hesitantly put my hand on it and see if it's actual wall there. It is an actual wall, yeah. Well, I can probably excavate I'll... this. Yeah, feel free. Yeah, yeah do that. And Celeste casts uh, Mold Earth and <laughs> excavates, and you reveal a smaller room. Uh, but in it, a large treasure chest. Uh, big padlock on it. Um, gilded, like, corners and decorations. This is, like, almost... Freaking secret among you, right? This is... Uh, this is a, a pirate's treasure chest. This this looks so over-the-top and extravagant. This, this is like any pirate's treasure ever described to you in either books or jacks from experience. Uh... The, this is as pirate chests or pirate treasure as it gets. Guess you want to open it? Wait, wait. It's not yes. the chest that's magic, is it? Mm. No. Uh, no, it's something, something inside, inside the it? chest. Yeah. Okay. okay. Is it locked? It is locked. Yeah, there's a big old, yeah. big old padlock big old on padlock. it. Oh, okay. I'm going to try and unlock it then. Go for it. Wait, Make, let uh... me check for traps. Let me check for traps. Okay. Go for it. I'll let him check for traps first. Put those little spectacles. Twenty-two. As far as you can tell, it is not trapped. As far as I can tell, it is not trapped. Master Wine. <laughs> Master Wine. Uh, yeah, slide, is... a, slide a hand check with uh, a proficiency bonus. Yes. So my slide of hand is different now, isn't it? What is it? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, so that is uh, 21 plus... I mean, yeah, that's enough. That's enough. Yeah. That's enough. Uh, you open up the chest. <laughs> you, you open up the lock and you, you can now uh, open up the lid of the chest and inside of it, you see two things. One, a waterlogged journal and two, a dragon claw. But covered with a layer of molten silver and inscribed on it uh, a draconic rune. Does it have an owl, a bear? <laughs> I was thinking the same no, thing. No, 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 it's not a Skyrim thing. <laughs> I'm assuming the dragon claw is the magical yeah. king. Yes. What kind of magic? Wait, does it have three prongs? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm not talking about Skyrim, I'm talking about if this is the trident and which. No, oh no, a, it's a dragon claw. It's 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 not it's it's not the trident, no. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah it's just a claw. Just a one oh, claw, it. like one it's claw. Like one claw. Grr, not grr, you know. Yeah, it's grr. Not even a finger, just the claw. Right, bitch. You What's is happening? some weird shit. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a claw. <laughs> yeah, it's a dragon claw. That's what we're trying to explain, yeah, dude. Yeah, but it's like a a fingernail. 
It's like it a shark's tooth. If well, it's a big old it thing. Neck. It's a big dragon claw. It's the whole thing. Oh, it's the whole thing. Yes. The whole foot. Right. Oh, it is. Uh, dragon hey, claw it covered tanned. with a coat of molten silver. Of molten silver, sorry. Upon which has been inscribed uh, a, a rune, uh, a draconic rune of some description. Um. Anyone know what that says? This would be. What kind of magic? Fuck me. Um. Sorry. Multiple schools of magic. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. You uh -oh. detect a bit of evocation. You detect a bit of um. Uh, what's the one that protects people? Abjuration. That one. Uh, but you also uh, detect a bit of um, conjuration. Ooh. All tucked I'll, away in this one dragon claw. I'll, I'll pick it up and toss it in the bag. Okay. Uh, so you also find this, this waterlogged journal. It, it looks very damaged. Um, can I read anything from it if I look really hard? You go through it, you find one passage that is uh, legible. Yeah. Um, it says, like, it kind of like starts halfway through a sentence, and then it says, And this worm rune is what we used to defeat the ferocious dragon Mansus Roth, and we were considered heroes by our people. We came back to a feast, but we immediately got ready for our next adventure. We are headed to. It cuts off there. Um, you can see, you can vaguely see that in the, the spine of the journal, it's, it has a name, not written on it, but kind of just like carved in it with like a knife or a dagger. Uh, the name is Captain Kraz, K-R-A-Z. And that would be Worm Room cool. with a, a Y, as yeah. in like, you know, mm. dragon. As a fucking fly, it's pissed me off. Which dragon was it? Was... The, uh, the dragon is called Manza's Roth. So M A N Z A Z Roth. Okay. Which I will. Is... Hmm? Okay. Um, I think I know what the rune is on the on the. Foot. <clears throat> what is it? Well, I don't know what it's called, but apparently, according That's to the right. journal, it was used to defeat a dragon. Wait, Manza's but... Roth. Ross? That mean fucking anything to uh, that ring any it, bells to anyone? Uh, what, Elazrin? I am proficient in history. Yeah, I know, but it's um, religious. I'll give Jax an opportunity to roll because Jax is pretty Hell fucking yeah. old. Well, Hell yeah. I'm older than the dragon. I doubt it. <laughs> Shut up. Why do you doubt me, bro? Just be believe in me once, Quavo. Believe in me. You are once. doubtful. Never. Um, that is twin dirty twenty. You don't recognize the dragon name, but the name Captain Kraz does ring a bell. Uh, Captain Kraz was a pirate um, who uh, sailed the seas roughly two hundred years ago. Uh, Strapping young lad. He uh, was mainly a pirate that hung around the seas, uh, around the islands south of um, south of uh, Scalia, uh, which is a bit of a pirate. Uh, oh, not Scalia, oh. fucking uh, the expanse. No, Keldalar. Keldalar, that's the one. Um, oh, the same ones that Mormons on? Yeah, uh, the islands oh. of Kraken Fall. The island of Kraken Fall specifically is the one that he. Uh, and you know that that entire province of Evangery is is a bit of a like a pirate, uh, safe haven. Safe haven. Yeah, a lot of pirates reside there. The four islands, each ruled by a, a pirate lord. Um, they've got their own thing going on, and uh, don't really have a government to keep them in check. They're not part of the empire. They're not part of the kingdoms. They just kind of do their own thing. Nice. And trade companies just decided to, instead of trying to fight them, just avoid that area of the world completely. I will relay that general information to the party. But yeah, so you know that Captain Kraus, uh was a... It, 
just just a better pirate than most was people. a pirate captain uh, that occasionally did undertake um, took up mercenary contracts uh, that didn't involve just pirating uh, per se. You know, if the money was good, he would do it, regardless yeah. of of its nature. Yeah. So, we found the treasure of a pirate slaying. Uh, sorry, a dragon slaying pirate. If it's to be believed, uh, in the cave I don't of know. we're supposed to be fighting some fucking what high castle? What was his name? Uh, Evander High Castle. Evander High Castle, but there's pirate. Tra I'm not, but, and this isn't what we're looking for, right? Wait, no. uh, well, he may have just been marooned over here. We don't know. Mm. But maybe, uh, um... so how how close are we to what we're actually looking for? It's a little bit to the north now. Uh, there was a door in the altar room, by the way, uh, that led north yeah. and south as well. I just magic item. Um, I, I mean, suppose maybe is this this captain adventurous as he was uh, pissed off Umberly like a lot of other people would, and she got fucking him? sent here. Oh fucking hell, man! How many people have been rocked? Rocked over here, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Well, is yeah the goddess of the seas. Fair few probably pissed off. Pissed Pretty off. fucking shite though. You you cruising around with a fucking ancient dragon claw treasure whatever, and you just get thrown into the middle of nowhere. Well. So did no one know what happened to this captain dude? And no one knows what happens to most pirates. Most of them either retire on the side or die. Or... Nobody will know what Just happens to us if we stay here. It's depressing. There are plenty of pirates that have been lost to legend. Do you think his remains are anywhere around? Oh my fucking why, god. Why Why would we want to know that anyway? Why would that be? Well, there's a pretty well, big section of the place that we haven't looked through yet, but uh, is that really uh, the concern of the, for the? No, for I don't you, think so. I'm just saying, Let's you know, go do if, the if thing this is what he's got stashed away, right? Well, imagine what he might have been. Might have bad. I just want to leave. <laughs> I want to get the shit that we want and fuck off. All right. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, it kind of stinks down here. Sucks. Everything's uh, tried to kill us. Jack. I've been fucking yeah. made to hit people. Jax was fucking speaking like he had a mouthful of whiskey. He's still struggling a bit. Who's got a mouthful of whiskey? Mm. Rum, actually. It's he rum. Stole... He stole my rum. Um. How dare I have a question. I know, right? Go on. Well. We're supposed to face this is this this undead pirate champion up to some description in this place and he has been nowhere to be seen so do we expect him to be in the same chamber where the head of the trident would be given that it's our last I piece so. either that or be. he will wait until we've got the trident together and pop out of some fucking hole in the wall and nah. would it be worth to do maybe a little bit of scouting does anyone have anything they can use to scout? I mean, I can Hawthorne turn myself into a mouse back. and just have a quick yeah, look around. Okay, but Hawthorne didn't come back when we sent him scouting, and yeah, that was kind of. I don't bad. want the same to happen to you. Well, uh, I say, think I, we get, just go say I get hit, I just turn back to normal and just yell really loud and start running. True. All I need is just a quick little look see into the room, just to give maybe an idea of what we're dealing with. Okay. Or, I, I mean, if someone sure. else has any ideas, then feel free. Nah. We could go just charging in. But, mm. Yeah, we could. Well. It's going pretty well for us, all things considered. Yeah, actually. You make a good point. Wish Ona wasn't an octopus, though. Um. I mean, if you want to charge in, you can. I'll just, uh, just rather. Uh, it's been a long day. Uh, uh, I don't want to know what I'm up against. Uh, well, if if you turn into an animal, we'll stop your starry visage. Uh, is there an animal you can turn into down here that isn't going to arouse suspicion? I don't think we haven't exactly seen any any wildlife as we've traveled. Uh, 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 hold on. 
yeah, I, I can still uh, turn into my, my, my starry form, even if I turn myself into an animal now. Uh, so do you? I don't mind either What way. animal do we, do, we, do we think? The only issue is, is that uh, wow. like I, 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 can't, I, I, I can't fly, is the only thing. It has to be a... A limpet! Sounds like a good idea, but then a lot of these rooms have been, you know... Foot, foot and a half of water, and if you're a snake, oh, that's such a good yeah. idea. I mean, if we want to scout ahead, someone could the disguise board? themselves as a saho, whatever you said it was. I feel like oh. being a small <laughs> animal that stays out of sight is a little less mm. risky than making someone look like one of them and just walking in there. Like, you know? Yeah. Let's say something that smells like a spider. Or, uh... mm -hmm. Yeah, I could do a spider. Sounds good. No one have any problems with spiders? Seems a good mm. idea. An idea well, is any... Brooks doesn't like them, but he could just like not look at. I, I don't mind it. Just don't climb on Brooks me when like you're spiders. a spider. Brooks doesn't like spiders. That's good to know. No. No, thanks. Just don't climb on me when you're a spider, please. <laughs> no, I would never. Why don't <laughs> I believe that? Because I'm lying. And she'll wild shape into a spider, like a tiny little, tiny little spider. And she leaves for a little bit, and comes back about ten minutes later. Turns back into uh, her normal self. Okay. Um, big statue, very big. Uh, same depiction as the statue in the other room. Uh, it's just Umberly though, no sign of Stisha. Um. Pretty big group of those fish people, and Yay. one tall, undead-looking man um, in very flashy pirate clothing. You know, a big coat, big hat, and um, it seems that he decorated his hat with something that could be a part of the trident. I'm not sure. So basically, through the his death. It's pretty well, much. Death. It's pretty much uh, we're pretty much right there, yeah. Let's go for it and smash some teeth in then. Yeah. I mean, we can do a thing. I don't think same. Has it been an hour yet? An hour? Yeah. Since, since I got no, Tom, no. no. Cool. Okay. It's been an hour since we've been in here. We had a long rest, haven't we? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. You had a short yeah, rest. Yeah. It's been yeah. You've been in this yeah. place for over an hour. Yeah. Well, then everyone is back to their regular dark vision happening. Whatever their dark vision numbers are. Okay. So if it's still it's still just dimly lit though in here, right? There's loads of crystals walking everywhere to make it dimly lit. Yeah. Right. Cool. Is there anyone who doesn't? Uh, Davian has dark vision, right? Nope. No. I think just you Jack sold Davian? your soul. Uh, you didn't get dark I vision. Do. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember if it from a weird like. Brooks does. Like, Dagon does. Where's dark vision at? It'd be under sensors. Like I don't have dark vision. Yeah, yeah idiots. Uh, there are less races that have it. I'm gonna drink a healing potion, I think. Real quick. <laughs> Just um, is Kes gonna drink one of her own? Can or you, one by of the books? way, Soko, because you have the, you put the, <laughs> the, the dragon claw thing in your bag, right? Hey, yes. Brooks. Could you? And I labeled it. Uh, silver dragon claw, I think. Yeah, just yeah. name it uh, Claw of the Worm Rune. Now, is this a meme or you're actually about to ask Brooks in character for a healing potion? <laughs> this is in character. Oh, fuck. It me. is renamed. Okay. Yeah. Can I have a healing potion? Do you not have any? I, I can oh. heal you. It won't really. No. Oh. I have two, it's fine. I will pass Kess one of my fucking healing potions. <laughs> I mean, the, there is one thing that we could do before going into this room. Mm -hmm. I have something we could do. Um, fucking tell us. And I will I'll pull out the from my bag those two uh, golden figurines. Oh, my... shit. We're going to play chess? Yeah. No. Do you not remember these? When activated, can turn into beasts that will help us. 
That's do we think awesome. that we're going to need them? There's a lot in there. It'd be a good distraction. Sure. What beasts are in the room? What, what, what beasts? Uh, well, they turn into just what they look here. Lions. I think. I don't really use them before. Where did you even get... Where did where did these come from? We found okay. them. You found them I'm pretty sure we found them in the same Valorous. dungeon where we got the... Where yeah. Valorous trapped. Trapped. And I... So I think I secretly... Them. I think I just was like, mine. <laughs> like, what do these do? <laughs> mine. <clears throat> pretty much, yeah. There's some gems and shit as well in this chest. I was just like, I'll just take what's in this chest, guys, because it's gems and shit, basically. <laughs> <laughs> where? So where... Hang on. Where did you get that, Lazarus? When we were rescuing Valor. Is in that chest of stuff that was like gems. The, the chest of stuff you told us was just gems. No, I said. No, it was... Was Jax identified them in front of you all. So you guys just weren't paying attention to when we were identifying stuff. Jax did identify them, by the oh, way. I'm sorry. We were, we were busy, you know, going on a mission to rescue your surrogate father figure. It was afterwards. Figure. It was afterwards. Surrogate father figure. He's not my surrogate father figure. Okay. He is. Have but... one. Do your star daddy? <laughs> She's like, she shoots a look at Brooks. This horn daddy. No, no, he's none of those things. Spider daddy? No, he's none <gasps> of them. Spider? He's my mentor. The whole different story. Long story. Too long. I don't like spiders. Oh, God, he doesn't like people with spider tattoos. Mm. What is it? That? There's some good people with them. Whoa, okay, Ooh. watch out. Well, Valor and the captain and the general have one. Mm. Are you saying they're not good people? <laughs> I mean... I think it's a grey area. What, what is talking good, about anyway? right now? So, you know, you know there's times so where you... Uh, are we supposed to be different? looking for the train? I'm just going to start slowly yeah. pushing a Lazarin forward. Why are you pushing me forward? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Fucking hell. I mean, I was going to wait oh, for... Do you want to use those lions or not? I'm just gonna wait till we sort of got our fuck it and I'll activate the lions. I'll throw them up into the air together at the same time. Kitty! Shit. And these I don't remember these. I, I genuinely don't remember ever identifying I those. do. You yeah. have, you have, you I have. Do. You were 100 did because it was just like chess pieces. And I was like, oh, it's fucking, fucking chess pieces. We might do everything. I yeah, why do you think I made the are we gonna play chess reference? Yeah. Uh, right, so what happens when you throw them? Gone. Uh, uh, Lazo. So, Lazo. Uh, as I sort of have these two together, I just sort of throw into the air. There's this sort of golden shimmer, and then just like these two fucking big lines just sort of pounce. They're male or female? Uh, they're both male. They're both big both mains. mains. Yeah, both got big mains. Hell yeah. And they just sort of like stand there, sort of waiting for orders. And um, Kess is petting one of them. Celestia will probably oh, pet no, the that's other. Such a good idea, Kess. Oh, don't. Tempt me from <laughs> like, like Castle just go to pet one and Celestia just goes to the other. Like she can't help it's, herself. It's it's you see this moment in Lazarus where she's like, I could just command it to attack Cass right now. I could do it. I, could do it. I, I have it. the it power. This is like Do they have names? Um, no, but you could name them, I suppose, but it's hard to remember which one's which. How long how long do they stay for? An hour. And I can't use them again for the next week. So I think you get an hour of lion time a week. Okay, Which but you can lion? use them again. Oh, yeah, I can well, use them again. Two hours. <gasps> they need names. Two lions. No, it's an hour. Of something. And it's either one at a time or. Yeah. How about you name one Celesti so you have a little bit of peace of me with I, you at all I times. I got it, Jax. Don't if worry. I got it. If it dies though, and we lose it, then. <laughs> Um, <laughs> maybe not. I feel I feel like that is going to be you know. Mm. This, one, this, one's Alex. This, this one is Jonathan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna this walk, one's I'm Alex. Gonna walk over to one of the lions and I'm gonna Alex use and my dagger to just like a little bit of mane and then I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna fucking kill it. No, I'm gonna take a little bit of its mane and then I'm gonna burn and scatter its mane and fucking summon Onu also as a lion because. Why not, man? I mean, yeah, hell, three yeah. lions. How long does that take? Is it an instant thing, or do you have to like wait a bit? Oh, the, there it doesn't at any point state how long it takes to summon the Fair enough. primal beast. So. Then it just happens, right? Fuck it, yeah. So Onu goes from octopus to lion. Yeah. Hell yeah. 
If I said that wasn't cool, I'd be lying. Uh... Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> I could. I do it like command the shit these. Do uh, it like quick. command these lines, uh... right? Right, Brooks. So like, you know. Which is oh. another reason that you shouldn't name one of the lions Celesti. Their yeah, names exactly. are Alex and Jonathan. You should never imbue an inanimate object. Alex is cute. Lion, 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 Alex. <laughs> There we How about go. Alex so with Alex. a Y? Alex? Yeah. Oh. Oh, Alex with a Y. Yeah, Alex? Oh, Alex with a K-S at the end. Alex with a Y, yeah. Alex. How about one is Alex with a K-S and one is Alex with a Y? That would get it's really just... confusing. I mean, How about we you... name them if they survive this encounter? They get... yeah. Whoa! Whoa. Both what the, the lines would be very offended. <laughs> we talk about but... Alex like that. I yeah. suggested the name Alex. I just oh. I'm bored of this conversation. <laughs> well, how about you go sit down while the grown-ups talk? What if we call them both Alec and then I'll together they are Alex? Although he's going to be, you know, got to an hour and that's quite a long time, but are we going in? We should move. We should or... move. Yeah, we let's should... fucking go. All right, line one, we're line in... two, let's go. Yeah. We're we're, we're <laughs> in a bad place. <laughs> we should not stay here. I'll be honest, I don't have the initiative folks on these things. It just says on their turn, I think they have their own separate one. Mike. Is Corbin's mic funky for anyone else, or is it yeah. just me? Yeah. 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 Okay. He dropped a cake on it. Yeah. A little bit of a bubba. This is not eating cake this a week. A little bit of static. A little, little... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck I can't even hear him. <laughs> what? Hello? 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 Yeah, it's yeah, better. Did not like that, whatever it was. Slightly screamed, just went, ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did not come not through at all. Yeah, it did not come through at all. Um... I don't know how initiative works on these things. It doesn't really. What's say. Adam called again? I shouldn't have got their own. It's the figure of wondrous power, golden lions. If I just have their own initiative. One word. Oh, I think one word. Fuck it. What the fuck was that? Fucking Christ! So I cool. fucking Friendly knocked fan. over a little thing on my Water desk. Not a drink, was it? Um, no, it wasn't a drink. It was a. Yeah, I was think. A fucking it doesn't say they have though. their own initiative. It just says I can oh. command them. But not as an and action. they probably just share your initiative. They share your initiative. Yeah, they'll share your initiative. Yeah. Okay, cool. Busy rainbow belts, dude. But it does. I mean, that makes it easier to remember, anyways. Honestly. Exactly. Also, it doesn't require an action for me to give them commands. It just says I can give them a command. So. Nice. Yeah, they just they they just have their own thing, but they, you you just nice. share initiative. Oh yeah. Cool. It's gonna be a big fight. Hmm? Uh, it's we'll we're about to get into a big fight, and it's already ten thirty. Yeah. yeah, which is why uh, if you guys are deciding to head north into yep. the thick of it, we are. We're gonna um, leave it here. You walk into a large circular room similar to the one that you fought the crystal golem in. It just it's just lacking a pit. Uh, in place of the pit, there's a large statue depicting Umberly, and in front of it, you see an undead pirate stand wearing weathered clothing, a large coat, leather armor, and a larger-than-life hat. On top of which sits the head of the trident. The man looks elven, but at the same time he is undead, but he has elven features still. Just kind of turns to you. Um, suppose I should have expected you to be trouble? Then he draws his cutlass, and the ten or so Sahuagin around him also draw weapons. We can, we can we'll, talk uh, this out. We'll and they leave. fall over and die and we win. And we'll leave this for uh, next week, I guess, when uh, oh. hopefully everybody's here again. Yes, we can get into uh, the final uh, fights. Uh, having to control, is like, Laura back next exactly. week? Yeah, I she's hope so. I hope so. She's got shit to deal with. Yeah, I'll uh, probably talk to her about it uh, <laughs> this week. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for playing, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed, as always. Woo! Um, next week is going to be uh, a big one. Next uh, week, big, big fight. Combat. Big fight. I'm still I'm not gonna lie, next week might just be a full combat session, I'll be honest. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a pretty big, extensive, that big? It's an extensive fight. Yeah. Golly. I'm honestly so down for that. I gave, listen, I gave you guys a fucking plus Honestly, two buff to all so of your stats true. for a reason, so go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, you know what? I've still got a raid. If it'll I've, make the fight easier, you can take mine away. I've also, got, I've got full health. I've got full key points. I'm ready to beat the fuck out of things. And you're charmed. Yeah. Alrighty. I've got lions. So I, I think Kess is my best friend. It's too bad he's not charming. Ooh. I got uh, true. I got lagging. Means you can't get charmed by someone yeah. else, though. Uh, I he think he went live. Can you not charm someone who's already... No, because I'm already he under the effects alive. of the charm So we're going to raid Profane Artillery, raising money for charity oh, yeah. for, for, for special effects through uh, Charity Select, as we all do here. Um, so mm -hmm. go show him some love, and we'll be back here tomorrow with Divinity? Question mark? Yes. Yeah.
All right, tomorrow with Divinity. Right, yeah. Thir wait, Get Soko, was it this yeah. week where you were able to do this course potentially? Just not on uh, a Thursday? Um, look at my work schedule. Pirate bitch. This week I have Tuesday okay. off. Mm -hmm. Um, Thursday, if we did it like early, early, like 6 p.m., I could probably do it. Which is 5 p.m. Well, it's noon, uh, uh, 6 p.m. for you, noon for me. Uh, I'm working Thursday, so I can't do that. I'll be home like after that. Uh, fuck. Uh, Rip, no Soko. Yeah. Um, who's available for Discord? Unless you want to do it Tuesday. No, because I'm working Tuesday as well, so that's also a bit, <laughs> a bit rough. You I need to find, do it late at night and pre record it with Soko and someone. Fuck off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyone feel inclined to be on this course this week? I can do it. Do I, I, I can. haven't been on in a while. Oh, do, uh, yeah. yeah, you can stop being on my files. Alright, yeah. We'll Me have to and Duke, do... last time I was on it was with Duke. Oh, oh, yeah. We'll, we'll do it again. Uh, we'll have, yeah. uh, yeah, we'll fuck it. We'll, we'll have the Divinity Boys on this course as well this week. The Moldy Class Homies. Um, hell yeah. Alright. Talk to y'all uh, later. See y'all later. See you tomorrow for Divinity. Thanks for watching. Much appreciated. We love you. Bye now. Uh, big session next week. Take care. Peace out. So we're kind of waiting for the right timer to, to you know, to call. But you know, buy wait. yourself cake fork. Drill. Buy me a cake fork so I can give it to Quavo. Du -du -du -dum. Bom, bom, bom. You gone? Bom, bom, bom. Bom, bom, bom. Du -du 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 -dum. And now slowly, like, fade out. Just like. <laughs>